good Saturday. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> uh, was that a scream of happiness or fear? <laughs> What's the answer? Find out next week. But uh, good uh, Saturday morning, noon, everyone. I'm calling it morning, noon, because Saturday morning cartoons are nostalgic. And fuck you. <laughs> but let's greet the wonderful people here and jump right into the third episode of Some Nooks. So I see a raven, who's number one today, by the way. Hello to you. An icy, hello to you as well. And thank you for the point contribution, raven. A big mama empress, hello to you as well. And a dragon, hello to you. Hopefully you're all doing super de duper well today. Yeah, exactly. You know, everyone's favorite time of day to watch Saturday morning cartoons. 10 p.m. for the people in the UK. Raven, I still can't get over the fact that you're someone in the UK that somehow manages to consistently make it, like, around here. I... I mean, I'm going to assume you do take care of yourself and stuff, but that that's still kind of flabbergast me because like i'm pretty sure my streams suck for like people in that part of the world like time wise or whatever because i i did sort of i i know i said this before but i know i sort of tuned my streams to work for better for people uh i guess here and also sort of in the good old aussie land oi 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 that's like it's like normally eight there when I start, I believe? I could be wrong. Uh, but the fact that, like, you're always here, Raven, it, it... it Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you can, Icy. Thank you for asking. You keep talking what time you should be asleep by. Okay, okay, that's, that's good. That's good. If, if you do that, then that is completely super fine. Cause I, I do the same thing. I'm not always consistent with it, but I do try to keep track of it. Like, I normally get my ass to bed around, like, midnight my time. I, I, this is not a just chatting stream. I should probably start the fucking game, yeah? Let's do that. Let's fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, so let's see. So, we got through already a third of this game already, which is kind of fucking ridiculous. Uh, hey. Where's my fucking game? Why is it not showing up in the bottom? What the fuck? There we go. Yay! Alright, so it was the... Uh... The... Culture Shock... And... Oh yeah, Situation Comedy. I forgot what the third one was called. Something about a, a meatball, I think it was? What the hell was it? Uh, so yeah, we got through Culture Shock. We got through Situation Comedy. Which had Myra in it, which still blows my fucking mind. Episode 3 is... The Mole, the Mob, and the Meatball. What? Let's see. The commissioner is looking into an underground operation at Ted E. Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. But the mole he sent in has supposedly gone quiet. To find the mole, Sam and Max must infiltrate the operation and become members of the toy mafia themselves. I can only see this working out perfectly fine. Let's play! <laughs> That's fucking... Do this shit. All right, so it, it's definitely this one where I don't remember. I, I barely remember fucking anything. So it. Oh yeah, there they are. Amix, Sam, and Max. I love this jazzy soundtrack so goddamn much.
love that opening. Episode three, the mole, the mob, and the meatball. Hiya, Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya. Uh. <gasps> I got it, I got it. Ow. Oh, hello. Yes, Commissioner. Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifold. <laughs> what if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Toy Mafia. <laughs> the cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. <gasps> the sallowest place on earth? Oh boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. Dyspepsia? The an undercover mole to investigate, <laughs> but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, does the carpet match the drapes? <laughs> what he say? He'll say, well, I never, then smack me across the face. <laughs> Sounds great! Let's do this! <laughs> chat not showing? Wait, is it not showing? It's not. Hey! Chat Chan. Hello? Chat Chan, are you there? Test. Hey! What the fuck? Hold on, wait. Is it. Is, is Streamlabs doing that shit where. No, I am logged in. F up. Bye. Chat Chan! Hey! Testing. Why. Why is it not doing? It's very bizarre. Hey! Chat Chat Chan? H hello? Like poking it with a stick. Hey, come on, the work. <laughs> Chit chat chan. It, it's always something, I swear. Hey, fucking. Ooh. Ooh. Are you, are you gonna? Are you gonna do something? Hey. Maybe just in case I'll you know just copy the fucking. Go. Copy. Let me see. Yeah, the emote thing is working. Why the fuck ain't the chat? Eh. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's supposed to be there. Hey! Max, did you break the fucking chat? I swear. Max? Did he throw the card so hard he broke it? Hello? Hey, there we go. I'm, it's showing, ma, what the fuck? What, whatever. It's fine. Things are fine now. Answer this machine. Hi, Sam, this is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages and give Max a smack from me. Thanks for letting me know that, Raven. That's so, I don't know what causes that. That's so fucking weird. Nothing useful in here. How ironic. <laughs> Good old Mr. Spatula. The exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. The fish? Certainly Aww. not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original floating belly up in this very water cooler just last week. Careful, Sam. <laughs> Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. <gasps> <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything I need to pick up in here, possibly? Like this thing right here? Hubert's still clinging to life by the skin of his leaf. A uh, donut box. The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. Do not box? <laughs> well, I mean, if you insist. Hello? Hi! Jerk! <laughs> okay. What do you mean? The reception's perfect right now. It is you. <gasps> it is also you. But it is you saying it is you to it is me. But wait a second. Ow. If it is you, and it is me, then does that mean it is me? 
<laughs> Hi, Redacted. How you doing? <laughs> Midtown Cowboys reruns. Oh my god. That serious toothpaste. Turn it off. I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. That's so weird because that's like true for everyone. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus. Though. I think Kitty saved the world. We will at some point redacted. It just things need to. It, I need to fucking get through the first game uh, at some point. You know what? May <sighs> Maybe after Super Hot. There you go. I've, I've smacked Max, I guess. Ah, uh, yes. I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. I swear these dates mean something. Th these are obviously dates. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Does the... Wait, Jimmy Two Teeth... Damn it, Max! Jimmy Two Teeth... Vents? Jimmy Two Teeth, Fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Oh. Hey, you're getting in way of my customers. What customers? Oh. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. You cracked me up, little buddy. So I have an ace of spades, huh? The ace of spades! The ace of spades! When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Except for a place where we're constantly looking at them, obviously. Hello? Oh! Hypn oh, right! This chart pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP oh, TV. Oh, right, okay. I determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Jesus. Okay, so the past shit goes in there. Okay, I see. Um, all right, so I got my gun and the ace of spades. Um, all right. Let's talk to everyone first. Let's see what the haps is around here. Ah, uh, what's the haps around here? Uh, let's see. Uh, posters. How about you, Sybil? How you doing? Wait, is she a fucking... Like... Judge? Wow, it's really dark in here. Jesus. All right, Sybil, what occupation do you have this time? Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. <laughs> this time, I found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. That's a thing? That's a thing? Oh, my God. Okay. Th this is only purely for the sake of seeing what happens. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought she was going to take that completely different. <laughs> uh, what's a professional trial witness? What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great. We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? <laughs> How do you become a pro a professional trial witness? <laughs> okay, why'd you become that? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. I was just like, wait, how do you become a professional one? <laughs> You're just a witness. <laughs> so what's the next career going to be? Because you seem to flip flop every like episode. What's your next career going to be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> no, seriously, what's your next career? No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? 
I resent that. So, what's your first case? Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. <laughs> is witnessing trials dangerous? Well, I mean, I guess if you're in Danganronpa, yeah. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh, no. We're protected by the truth. <laughs> All right. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. What about the other eye? Cacti. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey. If you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. Oh, sweet. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. That's a terrifying mental image. Is there anything around here? Tissue. Maybe for later. Is this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? Chloroform, actually. What? Some of my therapy patients used to get a little rowdy. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. A fan. I have two Max of those. I almost lost a finger in a fan like that Well, one. technically yeah, three in it here. Wasn't my own finger. Well, two and a half. Well, yeah, no, two and a half. I got my big fan above me. I got another fan in the background because it's still fucking high as hell over here. And my little desk fan chan right here. Which I am so glad I bought this thing. Oh, it's made. Shit, so much more manageable. Ow! Okay, well, I can't help with that, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. I'm not gonna be a... I'm not gonna be a picky bitch. As long as I can live, I'm okay with it. <laughs> right, Bosco's inconvenience. Alright, what... What bullshit do we got today? Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of God and Blue, who is this Bosco? Hey guys, it's me, Bosco. No, but you may call me Jean-Francois Bandapart, the new wave Bandapart. <laughs> I am so sorry to people that <laughs> speak French. Oh man, I have a friend that does speak if I think they're asleep right now. Oh, I wish I could show this to them. <laughs> Cause like that's their first language. Damn it. <laughs> uh hey Bosco, does the carpet match the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? No. And you know why? Because the man does not want him to. He is threatened by their potential unification. Mm-hmm. Oh dear god. Hey look, the toy mafia! Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Food. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day. And I intend to. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Food. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking is your chain, Is it the same amigo. thing? Sacre bleu. I could do this all day. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> why French? So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. They got it in for me. Take a number, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what are they doing? What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible! Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? <clears throat> not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. I'm seeing a pattern here. Yeah, another delivery conspiracy? Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. 
Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or well, my name is not Jean-Francois Bandepard. But your name's not Jean-Francois. Shh, they don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll bite. What's preventing deliveries? Is it your, was it ETAD or whatever the fuck? What's keeping the toy mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. What if you need yeah, to sleep? just like Wizzer couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. b -tads. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tads. I call it oh, the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tads. It is a b -tad part D. Oh my god. How does BTADS 2 work? How does BTADS Part 2 work? First is the anti delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I store. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Viva la France! <laughs> oh my god. I'm interested in perusing your wares, my good friend. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. <laughs> monsieur? <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Oh la la. Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device non pareto chocolate. Is that good? What? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. How much do you want for it? Okay, Bosco. We'll take that miniature listening device. As the price is $10 million. Are you fucking- $10 million? Wait, is that $10 million in crazy fake French dollars or $10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. The market is very on crazy freak French dollar. Oh my god. <laughs> These prices just like... They just get higher every time. My god. Do you have any... Do you have any straight tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. Uh, well for Icy, how about... Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow letter? No. Oh, that would have been fun. Okay, but maybe for Strange Dragon, do you have any... Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? No. Oh. Uh, for Redacted, uh, do you have any... Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Hmm. Uh, ah, for Raven, do you have any... Do you have any... No. How do you know what he was gonna... No. was just like, all right, stop. Nothing for us right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my see God. Later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, oh my God. I shall bid him a reservoir. <laughs> reservoir. <laughs> oh my God. All right, is there anything to shelf? Foamy, Foamy bread? bread? Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Ugh, oh my god. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Oh. Oh no, what happened here? Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. <laughs> Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs> Okay, seems like there's nothing in here to get. Okay. I do notice the anti-delivery camera. The anti-delivery camera. Okay. So wait, does the other one still work? Oh. What are you doing? Why must people bulletproof their cameras? Can't we all get along? <laughs> hey. Bulletproof. Oh, sorry. I meant to shoot the 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 wieners. <laughs> What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loathing Weekly? 
Hot Bunny? <laughs> Let me see that. Hot Bunny? No, self-loving weekly. I hate that I'm curious on what the fuck the Hot Bunny looks like uncensored. I, I hate that I'm actually that damn curious. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate that I'm that curious. Fuck. Uh, all right, I guess we just gotta go on down to the... the thing? Where are we going, Sam? We are gonna go to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino! Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Alrighty. Oh my god. Oh god, it's Freddy Fazbear. Nice. What the f Oh my god. Oh no, the buffet's closed! No! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. <laughs> you look familiar. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. <laughs> Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. Hmm. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> How can we have a conversation with you if you can't hear us? So, you give tokens to first-time customers? You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. <laughs> have you seen a mole around here? I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Oh. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time <laughs> that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. <laughs> Does your car- does the carpet match the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Teddy Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anyways. Come on, True. Jesus Christ. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Uh... Okay, so I have a token, huh? Whack the rats. Rule, let's see. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head. Cause a mistrial and win a souvenir magnet. What? So, whack the rats. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. All right, let's play Whack the Rats. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. All right, shoot the singing These ones. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't oh. touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. All right. How can we not? Oh, I see. Uh, 
Uh, hello? There we go. I was like, are there any more that are gonna come up? Yeah! My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator. <laughs> Let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Hey, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. <laughs> oh, I still got the token. Jesus Christ, this thing is terrifying. Hey, Dragon Cat, how you doing? Uh, let's see. Oh, gee, wait, the clown knows. Oh, I was kind of hoping it'd honk. Oh, that sucks. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours. Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. <gasps> <laughs> oh, there's the meatball. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. What? Ew. If I'm interpreting that correctly, ew. Uh, let's see. There's Leonard. One arm bandit? Oh, a slot machine. One arm bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well known colloquialism for slot machine. Yes. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bear's. Uh, uh <laughs> and uh, yeah, Dragon Cat. Actually, this is the third episode, uh, like of this game, because it's like it's like six like little mini episodes, and I got one and two done last week. So this is the start of three, which is called the 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 mob, the mole, and the meatball. All right, I'm gonna just shove this thing into you. Hope you don't mind. Hey! Mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction, we won! Wow! Yeah, we won, but there's no prize! You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. Oh, I see. Okay. Ooh, a rubber ducky! It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Oh, let's see. Let's, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, you know what? I can't hate these songs. They're actually pretty fire. Uh, let's see. Buffet closed for a semi-annual food change. Sorry, Max. Aww. I cry. I love buffets. Like the bandit arm. Can I fuck with it? Oh. You're on fire. Oh. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? Well, yeah, yeah, I. I, 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 I alright, alright. So I guess let's play some. What, poker? Hello there, freaky bear head wearing card dealer. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Jesus. Wanna play cards? Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? <laughs> Wanna play cards? <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. <laughs> Uh, all right. We want to play cards. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town, but I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> 10 million? How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. 
Okay, what's the game stake, Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. What? Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. <laughs> Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is Indian poker? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You oh, ever shut consider up. that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. <laughs> and you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. <laughs> Let's play. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That oh. seems fair. Alright. So what has he got? He's got... 10. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog. Because I never lose. Oh, I see what so, I see. In or out. <laughs> I see what's going on. Okay. I get it. Too rich for my blood. Yeah, Did I had a someone four. someone say blood? What? <laughs> <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, mama. All right, hold on. I, I, for now. I think okay. I get it. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> Oh, this motherfucker. All right, so if I'm assuming correctly, the magnet wouldn't look good there. Oh. Oh, shit, okay. Hmm. I just, did I throw that up there? Ah! <laughs> oh, it Oh my god, that's really fucking funny. Alright, so is that how Hello, I do? Bear. Wanna play cards? Yeah, I wanna play cards. We wanna play cards. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. I'm gonna win this. Let's, let's play. Deal. Alright. So wait, is Ace high or low in this case? I guess it'd be high, huh? I'm betting all 10 million, and you only gotta bet one. So, you in or out? We'll bet. Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. Ah. What? I, you, you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, stick trauma. Mama. Why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> oh. Let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats 10 million times in a row without passing out. Mama, why wouldn't you want... I have 10... <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> it's not dollars. I'm giving Bosco the... <laughs> First, it was the, like, actual money. Then it was food stamps. And now it's just tokens. <laughs> I love how we're always finding ways to fuck over Bosco. We're not giving him money anymore. <laughs> we're just giving him shit that, like, has no value. <laughs> oh, that is really funny. We want to buy something. Wee oui, wee, oui, monsieur. 
Okay, stinky pants, here's your 10 million. By the secret stench of St. Gainsbourg, these are not American dollar. No, but there are 10 million of them. Hmm. Well, the price is a dead in bears. Oh my god. <laughs> I accept. And in return, I give What's you our listening device? a miniature listening device. <laughs> this is a bug. <laughs> Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a Nam, boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! <gasps> so yeah, I think I can handle it. I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I paid ten. I paid. <laughs> I paid 10 million tokens to get a literal bug. Oh my god, this <laughs> The newspaper say outside? Uh, let's see. Uh, this one? Let's see. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I oh, hold on, news, let's see. Sam. I make it. Is there a way that I can like, if I click, uh... Oh yeah, there we go. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. Athlete's foot outbreak linked to global warming. <laughs> I love how it's also in the worst news. <laughs> uh, this game's fucking... Oh, sure. game's unhinged. Jesus Christ. Uh, alrighty. <laughs> So what's in the gumball machine this time? Hmm, are those? Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. <laughs> oh my god. Uh going, Sam. <laughs> Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! I guess in the way it's like free healthcare question mark for antidepressants just don't, you know, but uh, that or no. <laughs> well, it's not even free because you still got to put like a quarter in and get Welcome one. Welcome to Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Yes, hello. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Cheaper than prescription? True. Big true. All right, so let's put our little friend uh, over here. Like over here, I guess? I can't listen to that. Think, boy. Oh, wait, I used on the person? Ah. Okay, so if I do this. A one armed bandit. Insert token to play. Cut, fuck it. Okay. So that should give me the password, I'm assuming. You're on fire. You're on Still fire. No We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? <laughs> you may enter. Can I get my little friend back? There we go. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be what? A hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Leave sir, yes, the sir. gun, take the cannolis. Alright. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. <laughs> I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be 
What again? Why don't you tell me? Uh, leave the gun, take the cannolis. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Hell yeah! All right. Oh, the lighting in this is so this is good. It. Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Oh, shit. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? <laughs> Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? <gasps> but I like scruples. Uh, let's see. What Mafia? Exactly. <laughs> uh, sounds good. All right, yeah. Well, let's be just blunt about it. Great. Once we're in, we can find the mole for sure. Joining the toy mob dovetails nicely with our personal goals. We accept. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. <gasps> the fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. Uh... But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckles, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. <gasps> there are three jobs I need you to do for us. <laughs> what kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. I want you to whack somebody. And I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. What the fuck? Wait, lean on? What does that mean? Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Oh my god. Um, no problem. Oh my god. Intimidate? Oh. Lean on? Timid it. Huh. So who am I gonna whack off? I mean, uh, whack. Who I mean, to whack? we're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain Sybil. Oh pandemic. my God! Silence, as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, oh, so Jesus. we'll be watching. Yikes. Uh, what am I recovering? What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Oh. Sounds detective -y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. <laughs> okay. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Okay. Really overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. <laughs> oh, right. Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> well, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Yeah, Let's maybe. Not chance it. We don't know. Uh, can we talk to the boss? We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Oh. Oh, that'd explain it. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll be back. Word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Oh. All right. Workstation. What is this thing? Mine. Stay away from it. Jesus, okay. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Monitors. Looks like you can monitor the whole casino floor from there. And a few other places besides. Or you could watch Mary Tyler Moore. Who hey, told look. you about that? Look, it's Sybil right there. Any other... 
I love how the only not casino place is Sybil. <laughs> Ooh, a mini bar. Where do you think you're going? Oh! Right there? No one may approach Don, Teddy, Bear, except for other members of the Toy Mafia. Okay, all right. All right. So what do I got? I got this. I got that. How the fuck? Is bottom right Bosco's? Let's see. Bottom right. I... I'm not sure. It, it does look like the newspaper things, but it's three. Wait, no, there's the one arm bandit right there. But wait, that's next to some machines that I don't think were in the main floor. Hold on, let me go back. Let me go down. So are there three red, green, blue? Hold on. Let me, let me see. Red, green, blue. It should be over here, yeah? Let's see. Okay, yeah, it, it is this stuff right here. Okay. So yeah, the only not casino place is fucking Sybil's. <laughs> That's really funny. All right, so I got to lean on Bosco, whack off Sybil, and get a sandwich. Gee, I wonder who could possibly have the sandwich. I, I can only wonder. Ho-hum, ho-hum, tiddly-poo. Tiddly <laughs> Hello. What's up? Hello there. What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? All right. <laughs> you just kind of hanging out? Bonjour. All right. So I got to find some way to give him the bear. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Oh. <laughs> you are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. You will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. <sighs> what if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. Oh, my God. Wait. So, do I put this on the camera? Maybe? If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Oh! Oh! Yeah, eat pavement, camera! Oh, the society pages. It must be scum and bones. Okay, that was completely different from what I thought it was. I thought it was gonna short circuit the camera. Oh. He's pretending to read the gardening section. So it's true. He is Toy Moth. Oh my, I can't. I okay. Hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. I He's love how I got the right answer with the wrong method. Aww. Well, the the method was right, but. Oh, no. He's coming in. We're done for. I, I can't believe that works. I surrender, I surrender. There, there's an easy joke to make here. Uh, I told you this would happen. I told you he would deliver, and he delivered. I can't believe that guy. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh, yeah. You're real busy. You've just been loitering around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? And now, Not and yet. we loiter Our to journey love. journey to the dark side has just begun. Okay, so my thought was the the magnet would, like, fritz out the camera. But then I remembered b Oh my god, this game is ridiculous. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Why didn't b test part do work? Uh, my camera! Oh, no, no, no! I think you mean all oh, non non non. That that's how they say no in French, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Uh, all right. So how the fuck am I gonna? 
do the Sybil stuff. Huh. How am I gonna do? Uh, oh, wait a minute. The tissues. They have more use than those lonely Saturday nights. Aha! <laughs> Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean, dame. I mean, dame person. Dame Dame? Dame person that Big Chin Puppet used to scare children? Oh, what? Sam, Max, thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... You seem understandably seem a, little a little tense. Nervous. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes, the coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? Uh, so how's the professional trial witness working out? How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The toy mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. <clears throat> I think they meant murder. <gasps> Uh, have you considered faking your own or death? Have you considered the possibility of staging your own deaths to throw the toy mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand oh for my as a God. professional witness. Big payoffs, graft, corruption. The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. Uh, so are you going to testify? So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. What? We'll be back? We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Oh. oh. Really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. <laughs> okay. Do I take a tissue? I'm afraid to touch those. Well then, don't fucking touch him. Just, I don't know. Am I gonna bug Sybil with it? Okay. Yeah. No. There, there is a tiger in here somewhere. Okay. So maybe if I get, uh, ah, I got it. And then I pull out my gun. I don't think I can bring myself to actually shoot her. Well, then just shoot a blank or something. I don't know. I appreciate you trying to defend me, Sam, but there's nobody there. There was a gnat. Or at least I think I saw one. And then I pulled out my gun! I appreciate you trying to... There was a gnat. Uh... And then I pulled out my gun? Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Oh, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hmm. here's what she said. This is a really nice desk. I wonder how old it is. Thank you, sir. That does not help me. Mm -hmm. So how do I kill, but I actually kill Sybil? Any titillating scandal mags lately? No. Cooch. I got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. Little coochie -coo. I think you have to stretch the whole thing or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. <laughs> Let's see. Nothing oh. useful in here. Oh. Okay. And I can't get anything from in here, like at all. A little axe for that little cow dickhead right there. Let's see. Coffee cup. Coffee cup. Coffee cup. Coffee cup. that it? Oh! Hey, get her? I don't see any blood. Nope. I guess he must have missed. Okay, wait, 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 Okay, hold on. Can I take this? What? What? Am I using the ketchup again? Oh my god, this fucking game. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
Oh man, these two are um, fucking menaces. Jesus. <laughs> I get it. Bonjour. I gotta fill. I gotta fill this bullshit with the uh, ketchup, and then give it back to her. <laughs> Ugh! Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? No! You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? Also, hi, Biggie. How you doing? It's good to see ya. You doing all right that fine, this fine 5 a.m. your time? Seriously, like, what, what even is sleep? My god. You're good? Of course you're good. I, I saw the, the work in progress stuff you've been doing for Desert. I gotta say, looking really cool, looking really good. Like, I think the last thing you posted was the flats? And, uh, I, I cannot believe that Desert is officially wearing booty shorts. I never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. There you go. Oh my goodness, thank you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. You're That's welcome. Never stop me. She's got a cup full of ketchup. And then I pull out my gun! <laughs> That's nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on our points. Hey, whatever. <laughs> With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that you're alive, <laughs> you don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally. Hey, Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey Sam, are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh yeah! I cannot believe this fucking game, and the Vorfinax go wild! If there are any here, honestly, I have no idea. And you know what, if you do like- if you do like Vor... You know what? Good on you. You enjoy it. Long you don't hurt anyone else, fucking you enjoy whatever you want. Gee, I wonder where the sandwich could cost. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. He's got a fake gun. You too. Hi, jerkbag. Trying to vent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back. A meatball sandwich you stole from the toy mafia, boat. Leonard. Uh, you can't trust Jimmy. You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two Teeth there cannot be trusted. He still has our pepper grinder. <gasps> hey, I was gonna return it. Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. <laughs> Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mile. Hey, what? Oh, let's see. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No. Sick him, little buddy. I thought you'd never uh -oh. sick. Oh. Oh. Mama. Uh, okay, oh. Okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, er? Say rough, say rough. Rough. I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. <laughs> nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? <gasps> Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheating slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. <gasps> oh, mean. That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Oh. <laughs> oh not that. Anything but that. Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. 
curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmint as a team. Follow my lead. Oh my god. There's a lot of choices here. Jesus. Yo mama's so fat. Yo mama's so fat. <laughs> uh... Let's see. Oh! She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Uh. Okay, let's see. Radiant, perky, thrifty, vulgar. Your mama's so vulgar. Yo mama is so vulgar. Uh let's see. KO I I guess this one? Her mouth would make a long shoreman blush. Her mouth would make a long shoreman blush. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Is Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Is is he getting more and more red? Let's see. Uh, this one? Yo mama's so radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, mama make it. Oh, yeah, no, he totally is. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. <laughs> yeah. He's so red. Uh, thrifty. Yo mama's so thrifty. I saw... She brings coupons to the Penny Arcade. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> He's so red. This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Oh, shit. Uh, yo mama is so punctual. Yo mama is so punctual. She showed up early to her own funeral. She showed up early for her own funeral. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah! I'll just leave my mom alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the pride slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Oh! Thanks, jerkbag! How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and oh. bring back that sandwich. See you around, sucker. Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Ah! Hey. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so I got an arm. A third arm. Where are we going, Sam? I guess that makes me having six limbs now. Back to the casino! Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! All right. Man, I feel like I'm blazing through this one. I can't believe I got the Yo Mama shit Welcome done like. To Teddy Bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I'm like blazing through this one. Uh, all right, so time to put the man's arm back. Presto, a nun armed bandit no longer. Because this totally works. You're on fire. Success. <gasps> Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? No. Sweet Tomaine, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is. I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. <laughs> You've done well, boys. 
Follow me to the back room. Oh no. There's a little initiation ceremony. Oh god, not the back We're rooms. Our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? What? Shut your ultra wide trap and follow me. <laughs> Oh no, we're Sam, in the back rooms. Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. <laughs> My step runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask, which is good. Because I can barely talk through this stupid thing. <gasps> uh... That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. Do you what? You fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police. Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. <gasps> oh, right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or Teddy Bears. For all we know, the original Teddy Bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. <gasps> yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Uh-oh. The little buddy. Uh-oh. I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. What a twist! Blood, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. <gasps> Only modern technology gone horribly, horribly awry. Uh, all right, what am I doing here? Oh wait, maybe. Uh, uh? This is not good. Yeah! Wow, that was. All, of them? all but one. Oh. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Man, that was... Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. That was shockingly fast. Hey. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. Oh. Well, let's look around. Let's see. He's got a bunch of maps in here with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting. But it probably doesn't mean anything. This bear head right here. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Talk board. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. <laughs> the desk? Hmm. Apparently, Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. Oh. Okay. The dressing screen? A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. I suppose. Note, objects in mirror may not be a reflection of any person, living or dead. Oh. The mini bar, of course. It's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor. Oh. So maybe if I just shoot the, I, why do I have his cap gun? What? Oh. Wait, wait. Do I literally just uh, go up to the door and try it? Or I thought I thought this was gonna be like a little puzzle. Oh. <laughs> All right. I thought it was locked. All right. Well. <laughs> never mind. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's a whole bear making factory back here. Holy you mean shit. The respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized. <gasps> you two, you're back. Inconceivable. But come no closer. I know how to use both of these. I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you then. This hypno bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> you can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the hypno bear! Do whatever Teddy Bear says. Doesn't he have the. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? 
We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. Ah, oh, I see. I asked you a question, slaves. Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. <laughs> really? Seems a little off somehow. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. <gasps> Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend. I command it. Oh. Uh, okay, I see. <laughs> I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to Timo the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so or cowards die a thousand times. <laughs> well, heroes die but once, unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince, and may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well, so cold. <laughs> so cold. Oh, uh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no! Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. We're in danger. 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 Oh. Okay. Okay. Good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, so he's like over there. There's the one-armed bandit. Wait. Oh, my beloved! Anybody got a screw loose? My beloved screwdriver! You're on fire! Thanks! This is quite a gizmo. Alright, so I gotta screw something. This isn't even a real fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Hopper from Bugs Life? I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. Uh. Oh wait, maybe if I. bug you? Maybe? I I'm not sure of my thought process. I'm just kind of bullshitting around. Master. What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. Is that gonna okay, work? Here's what he said. Oh, that Garfield and his lasagna. What a character. Thank you, sir. Oh. Okay, I thought I could, like, overwrite the voice shit, but I guess not? Uh, no, 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 hold on. Let me screw the voice, Gizmo? I really don't want to screw that. <laughs> Goodness. The computer? I wouldn't know where to begin. The console? Maybe? I really don't want to screw that. All right, I'll get the joke out of the way. Hold still, little buddy. Don't do it, Sam. You know I'm ticklish. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Uh, does this imply something between these two characters? You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. 
I know I've got a protective device in my hat, but did we ever figure out why you can't be hypnotized? It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. Oh, dear God. Hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? I've lost so many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges used in hypnotic suggestions? It's really a toss-up as to which theory is more implausible. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. Take out Teddy Bear, and while you're at it, this bear-making machine. Maybe the whole factory. Even dead, you don't lack for ambition, Max. Okay, let's see. I wish we could use them ourselves. I wish we could use those hypno bears ourselves. Sam, nothing's stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. Blah. Oh, Max, you're right. So wait. Some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. Ugh. Okay, wait, so... Steep away. I'll work things out. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it. Do I just take one of these bears? You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Aw, isn't that cute? Uh, okay, so wait, do I screw the little bear? Oh, well, I guess I can't combine stuff, huh? Give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Uh, let's see. I gotta use the screwdriver for something, yeah? Oh. Hey. Meant that. Well, that didn't do much. Hmm. Tokens? I don't think that takes tokens. Well, not with that attitude. I gotta put something in there. Uh, let's see. I can't leave because comics. I don't much like the funnies these days. They tend not to be. Uh. Oh wait, can I use it on this? I can't listen to that. Think oh. Boy. I'm trying. Sorry. Shit. Use nah. it on. Okay. I can only use it on the mole. Um. Okay, so he just talks about fucking lasagna, though. Right? Okay, here's what he said. Oh, that Garfield and his lasagna. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, talk to you Master. again. What is it, hypnotic slip? No. Then don't buy. Okay, so something's got to be wrong with the thing. Okay. Insidious. Nefarious. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh wait, recycling tube? No, wait, that's just the thing over there. Um, okay. Ominous. Hmm. This is quite a gizmo. Indeed it is. Do I just throw a bear in there? Uh? I doubt I could hypnotize that. Oh, wait, so I use it to hypnotize. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. What if I just use the bear on him? Oh, you just think you know it all, don't you, Mary Worth? Excuse me, master. What is it? You will give all your money to Teddy Bear. I will give all my money to Teddy Bear. Rats. I'm sorry, I must have dozed off for a minute. What did you want, slave? Never mind. Okay. So I gotta find some way to change what it says. Hmm. I can't just. I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. I don't see. I can't just, like, take one. I really don't want to. Yeah, no. Shit! Uh, I never travel without my trusty phone. Oh. I'm into. There we go. All right. So, hmm. Okay. You're on fire. Uh, I don't suppose I unscrewed the bandit? Oh, hey! Oh. <laughs> I'm on fire! Hey, 
Hey, Sapt, how you doing? All right, I, I, I get it now. All right. So I'm gonna stick this. Oh my god. Okay, so if I put this Framo what's it in this Blingle Flipper. So now the bear's gonna say, you're on fire. Oh. I see. Altered teddy bear. You're on fire. Aw, isn't that cute? <laughs> I love how I have the two of them. There you go. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on, I'm on fire. Help, help, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Oh my, oh, uh oh. Time to pull the lever. Is this it? Did Clappy do it? Has Clappy cracked the case? Uh oh. Oh no. Safe. Caution. Uh oh. Uh oh. Danger. Danger. Nice Danger. Work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look. Uh oh. Danger. Um, little help. Hi, danger. I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? Uh oh, run, 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 chat, run! Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? Run, run! Woo! No. Oh my god. That's what I call breaking the bank. <laughs> the sidewalk and the water main and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. <gasps> I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Fuck <gasps> up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. Yeah. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs. <gasps> with extra salt. <gasps> <laughs> it's so derpy. What the fuck? This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. What? Is that the end of the- Oh shit it is! Yeah! Episode 3 done! Let's go! Fuck yeah! Oh my god. I love this song. That was fucking awesome. And yeah, we're, we're gonna do the next episode. I'm not gonna just do the one episode. Hell nah. <laughs> You're on fire! Alright, next episode. Uh, so yep, there's the mole, the mob, and the meatball. So, yeah, it, it does seem like it's every two episodes per week, so... It hasn't been two hours? Yeah, I know. To be fair, these were made a long time ago, so they're not going to be super long. Okay, yeah, so this it, it's literally lead up into this. Okay. Episode... <laughs> Fucking hell. Episode four. Abe Lincoln must die. The president's lost it. Federally mandated group hugs. <gasps> oh, 
a pudding embargo? <gasps> What's next? Sam and Max are off to Washington to take care of this bozo. But the political climate will only get stormier and a new power will rise. I sincerely hope it ends up as Max as the fucking president. Group. <laughs> Both of those statements work. <laughs> Let's play episode four. <laughs> Hold on, let me wait, wait, wait. Let me do this real quick. Wait, is this gonna work with that actually? Uh, if I do this, does that work? Ah, uh, well, I, I guess that kind of works. Hold on, let me let me change that real quick actually. Hold on. Hold on. That that's a super fast, easy uh change I can do. Give me a second. Uh let me just meander on. Get that part copied. Where the where the fuck's my hug command? It is such a long ass list. Oh god. Where the fuck is my hug? Uh there's a snug. Where where's my hug actually? Oh my god, control F, Jesus. There we go. Okay, so let's see. I mean, yeah, that works, but there's like a better way of doing it. Uh okay, so if I save that uh and then if I do it again, Yay! There we go! Okay, so normally some of these commands are limited to like one word. But I found out that you can do like, here's an example. Uh, let me just do a bunch of words that shows the command is no longer limited. So yeah, now you can like just type whatever for what you want to target with that one, and um, it'll do. It, it'll diddly, diddly do. Fuck yeah! All right. Yeah, cause I, I did that for some other ones, but I forgot I didn't do. I know I I didn't know I didn't do it for that one. <gasps> but we're good. Episode four. A Lincoln's gonna fucking die. Don't take that out of context. Well, I mean he's already dead, but you know. What is this? I am reborn. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. <laughs> you know, Max, sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. Uh, no, that was uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. <laughs> yes, yes, no, yes. Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're in our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Oh, sweet Jesus. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. Wait, during? So, he's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. <laughs> This fucking game. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. <laughs> this game is so fucking funny. <sighs> Jesus. All right, I'm 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 so fucking curious to see where this one's gonna go. Where is, where where are you gonna go with this one, game? I I I, I must, I I cannot wait to see. So like, is this like a zombie a blinkin' or does this actually take place when he's supposed to be alive? 
I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil and firing your gun out the window. <laughs> I swear, that woman was a dead ringer for us. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called Commander-in-Chief. <laughs> Oh my god. At least the president has his priorities straight. <gasps> oh my god, chat. Do you see it? Look cl look closer. A little bit closer. Closer. It's the number 9. Abraham Lincoln is zero confirmed. Boxing glove. Hey, my missing boxing glove. It's always in the last place you look. Sign? Do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine anyway? Nothing. Weren't you listening? <laughs> such a fuck. Oh, it's just Jimmy Two Teeth. He's just hanging Jimmy? out. Oh, great. What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R and R. Speaking of which, beat it. Yeah, some stamp. yeah, of course. The periscope. The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. That's not a periscope. That's a single scope. Silly game. <laughs> Silly telltale and skunk ape games. Valley parking. Two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. Let's see. Poster. Suspect yourself. Oh. So Madonna. <gasps> oh, good golly god, fuck damn shit. It's a stool. Nice stool. It looks a little like a weird space creature, poised to devour the unwary mortal foolish enough to sit on it. I like that in a stool. Oh. Hello, Arctic and Raiders. I'm Clappy. If the interpreter wants to put you in a goddamn good mood, how was Lies of P? What does the P stand for? I don't want to know. But I do want to know how your stream went. Uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. Oh, that's government efficiency for you. Sign your name here for naming rights to this building. Please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy, can we, Sam? Please. We'll see, you, little buddy. <laughs> Pie. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. Spanish Warhammer 40k book on did a little bit at Liza P. Ah! Hopefully had fun with the boat for them. All right, let's, let's enter the fucking White House. Whee! Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and your uh, rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. Damn I'll it. have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. <laughs> Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp whip and labyrinth and logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. <laughs> Did you call yourself Superball? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. A blast stream. Oh, Thank Super you, Arctic. Ball. I get it. Let's see. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. Uh, don't you get bored guarding this door? <laughs> What in the seven Lord McFuck? Oh my god, Pixel Friend! I'm no Pixel Friend. How are you doing? I'm Cappy. The Derpy Do has to put you in a goddamn good mood. How is Suica game? Did you do good at the game? Or did you Suic at it? Huh? Huh? Come on, uh, at least a little pity laugh. <laughs> I'll don't take it with the health check though. <laughs> e oh, good stretch. That's what Clappy likes. E and the Wawa. 
Because I am melting. Mm. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, Pixel Raven's got your back. <laughs> uh, don't you get bored guarding this door? Because like, we, we got a lot of people that want to get into the White House. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Superball! I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. <laughs> Not now, Max. <laughs> Is that all you do? Guard this door? Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. I see. Uh, Suka game is that watermelon game. I'm not familiar. Watermelon game? It's way to the Switch, North America. Oh, was it like a Japanese exclusive or something in the past? Jesus, that rabbit. Oh my god, Arctic. If you, if you know nothing about Sam and Max, th this is Max over here. This is Sam. <laughs> Max is basically me before rabbit. He is fucking insane. And that's why we love him. Uh, they have you guys doing odd jobs too? They have you guys doing odd jobs too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Superball! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. <laughs> do you have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. <laughs> uh, let's see. It is a combining puzzle game. Take two objects of a similar type. Combine them to make bigger ones, there are physics as well to add challenge. Huh. Interesting. I'll probably give a peek to your VOD uh, once I wrap up here then. So, let us in, dude. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police, here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. <laughs> let us in, seriously. Seriously, Jack. Let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. Hmm. Um, it's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. Care, I heard that, that, Thank sir. you, Pick the... It's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Find a security force <laughs> in the world, sir. <laughs> but yeah, get the get the good R and R pixel friend. Always so good to see you around here. And all the lovely friends you always bring by. Like the zombie Wi-Fi. I know it's I know it's zombie wife! But Wi-Fi funny. <laughs> uh, uh, uh hmm. What else do you do? What else do you do besides guard this door? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance. Oh like wait, I've already seen all that. Okay, uh let's I've had see. enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Ball. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. <laughs> uh, all right. What all do I got? I got you. Got a gun. A boxing glove. Do I shoot the flag? The the, the single scope? Jimmy? That would hardly be sporting. <laughs> um, well, I doubt I punch him. That sounds so stupid that it might actually work. Assaulting armed secret service agents is one of the leading causes of getting yourself killed. Yeah, okay, I, fi <laughs> I figured. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, maybe if I... Bug you. There we go. Alright. So then if I get him back. Okay, here's what he said. Just step away from the door, please. Yes, sir, that is all I say. Thank you, sir. Wait, did he hear that? Uh pay phone? Why would hey, I do that? This phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid five 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 phones. Yes, actually. Five 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 one nine eight four. 
Hey, Sam, did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> So I can't just take the oh hole. Hello? Any golf balls? Nope. Hmm. At least the president has. Is there anything else around here? Not really. Hmm. Do I put the boxing glove on the single scope? There are so many other things to punch. Like the sign? There are so many other things to punch. Well, I guess the, the mailbox is kind of fucked up. Is that, uh, what needs to be reported? An ornamental mailbox. Uh, let's see. What else do you do besides okay, hold on, let me see. Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work. Light grounds work. I've had enough of this. Uh, and I can't get anything mm, out of here. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. Because hmm. I don't have any other things to grab, as far as I can tell. I can't nice take the stool. stool. It looks a little like a weird spe- I okay. like that Okay, no, 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 no. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, there's a the sign. I don't know if that'd be helpful, but let's see. Hey, Varos, how you Post doing? no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. Hmm. 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 Wait, what if I... Oh. Well, shit. Uh. Hmm. I think I gotta shoot something, right? That's not too weird to, to guess. Do I shoot the flag? Do I shoot the hole? Do I... No, 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 no. Ooh. That would hurt. Uh, Jimmy! Jimmy, you rat bastard! Hey, Jimmy. Need it. Well, all right then. There's nothing over here. Oh boy, we're off to a strong start with this one. Uh, maybe I punch something, but I punch myself. There are so many other things, like the the sign. There are so many. Uh, the phone. Hey, this phone only takes. It must be well. Oh, yeah. doubt, 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 doubt. Let me punch the the. There are so many. Punch Max. There are so many other. No, uh, unfortunately, it won't, it won't let me punch the mailbox. There are so many. Punch the door. There are so many. Fucking goddamn! Th can I shoot the mailbox? I mean, I can. I won't do anything. Huh? Uh. Where are we going, Sam? Oh, I can actually go back. Oh shit! Okay. Back to the office. I'll drive. Not while I'm alive. <laughs> exactly. I wasn't aware if um I could go back or not. Okay, well that 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 saves me up quite a bit more time. All right, let's let's see what crazy bullshit that Sybil and Bosco are up to this time. These, oh my God, are you serious? Whoa, look, Max, it's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi. I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? 
why I'm spreading the great news about prismatology. The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being. Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! 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 <laughs> Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. So what's your book about again for those that may not know? Unlike me, because I totally know. What was your book about again? Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness? It's about everything. And nothing Yeah, th all. that that background is going crazy. Wait, no, it is him. Cause like his shadow is like all right. What the fuck? No, really, what's it about? What's this prismatology nonsense really about? All it is is the total reawakening of mind, body, and spirit in a rainbow of true bliss. Ah. I'm really <laughs> excited. Uh huh. And how do we do that? Okay. Simply focus on the orange at the core of your spirit. Okay. No, wait. Okay, now. Shift your consciousness to the ultraviolet. Doing that? Mix it with the indigo of your imagination, and then let it slide down the rainbow of your hopes and dreams. Wow, I can't believe it was so simple. <laughs> How do you stay in business if we're not selling this stuff? How do you stay in business? With the magic of volume and free delivery. You can have all the colors delivered to your home for no green. <laughs> I don't get it. the delivery of some of these lines. So how about a magic trick? Show us a magic trick, you Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are... Yeah, yeah, less <laughs> chatter, more magic. <laughs> how about I disappear? Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is. <laughs> <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. Oh! Did he just go to the White House? I bet he just went to the... What the fuck is in here? Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Oh my your god. Friends, annoy your grandparents. Alright, alright, Bosco. What the hell are you up to now? <laughs> What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, greetings, comrades, dog, and rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic States? The San Fernando Valley? <laughs> hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Comrade Maximilian, most <laughs> funny too. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Boskovus, Russian proprietor of the workers' glorious warehouse of inconvenience. Right? <laughs> yes. But now, I make new starts in America, which I love. So, there's no need to aim at sophisticated targeting equipment at me. <laughs> I'm <gonna> guess Italian. <laughs> Why the Italian disguise? What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? It's perfectly natural, comrades. I work with the American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know. They know. They know what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. That's me, Max. <sighs> well, why are they watching you? Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um... Just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target him. Do you have a defense against the feds? I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? It's the people, comrades. Workers who overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come there, victory. Workers will unite. 
to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. <laughs> no, it's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. What? You're making a missile defense system? Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet, we are strong like bear against attack. I'm working on modifying B-Tad's part two. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store. So I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? A small price to pay for freedom. Okay, but beef jerky slaps though? We want to buy something. We want to buy something. Yeah, is evil but necessary private enterprise. Uh, what have you got this time for a hundred million dollars? What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrades. He's useful for, uh, how you say, questioning. Questioning. His true serum makes easy even the most difficult, how do you say, uh, interrogation. Interrogation. True serum? <laughs> Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, complete and honest truth. Your Compl accent, accent sucks. sucks. Hey, it's oh. already working. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading it, but I meant to say complete and honest truth. <laughs> We'd like that truth serum, Comrade Boskovich. It's good. Price is 867.5309 rubles. Whoa. How much is that in real money? One hundred million dollars. I can't I think believe. The rate of exchange is a little off, Boskovorsky. Full of Berlin Wall. I cannot believe I was correct. Oh my God! He just adds another zero <laughs> every time. What's up, Lior? How you doing? <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, Boskovich, for my good friend. Uh, for my good friend, Liar, do you have, uh... Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yeah. Uh, hmm. All right, well, uh, for Pixel Friend, do you have any, um... Do you have any souvenir snow globes from the Mystery Vortex? Yeah. All right, uh, for Veros, do you have any, um... Do you have um... any Lobster Fox brand cereal? Yeah. Hmm, uh... For a zombie wife, do you have, do any... You have any Tagalog rhyming dictionaries abridged? Yeah. Shit. Uh, for Power Lord, do you have, do you any... have any wiener cozies? Ah, we just get shipment of those in this week. Let me look. What? Oh boy! Oh wait, did you say wiener cozies? I thought you said Navajo blankets. No, we're all out of wiener cozies. Oh. Uh, let's see. For Raven, do you, do you have, have any... Navajo blankets? Yet. <laughs> uh, for me, do you have, do you any... have any... Potatoes in the... Yet. Okay, that's just a... All right. Nothing for us right now. Uh, what's that smell? Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Ew. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. Who? Yeah, what other customers? What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. What? I mean, it's a good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty francs. Ugh. All right. See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrades. He's only loyal worker Bosco Vorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Look, you just add the fucking zero right there. <laughs> oh, that is fucking funny. Alright, so I need a hundred... 
All right. Um. So he has a truth serum, huh? Sybil, help me. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Let, let's 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 mosey on over to Sybil's and she what she is this time. Dating so oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking heart. <laughs> oh no. That's where I do video intros for my dating service. Why is the door locked? It's locked? Damn it. I don't even have a key to that door. What if I just shoot it open then? Oh. All right, I thought that would kind of do something. All right, then. Nothing useful in here. Uh, let's see. All right, Sybil, I... What the fuck? What is this? Hey, Sybil, what's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. <laughs> I'm really excited. I have found the perfect job for me. Have you? you? That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Jesus Christ. You can't get a date? You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. Hey! No offense. None taken. Hey! <laughs> or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. Hey! None taken! It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. <laughs> what kind of man are you looking for? What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn on. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. Uh, All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. <laughs> I thought she was talking about me. <laughs> Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? <laughs> Stranger things have happened. I guess. They must have. Somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. We wish to submit one. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. <laughs> Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. Uh, let's see. Uh, love animals. She should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. Uh, you really know how to ruin the mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's for... cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. That. <laughs> What? Uh, tall. She should be tall. At least 12 feet, or 4 meters if she's Canadian. <laughs> that's all. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Oh! Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it. Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam, what do you say we never ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. Confirmed the Clappy-verse? 
What's next on the career horizon? All right. Next? This is it. I wasn't even going you could for be that. A better job than helping people find their perfect match. Volcano god. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business. <laughs> <laughs> How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. One none is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups and a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. How's business? How's business? Slow right now, but those applications are going to start coming in at any moment. You know what? I like the optimism. See you around, Sybil. All right, so, so far, all I've accomplished from coming here is, oh my god, the fucking fox has the cupid bow and arrow and wings, Jesus. All I've accomplished is, make, is establishing that Sam and Max are an item. Huh. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Um, all I have is this. Something in the office? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The progress I made with this is just so astounding already. Well, he's not here, so... Anybody home? Guess not. Yoo-hoo, local hoodlums. Um... Anything in the closet? Oh! It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? It is a pleasure, Sam. It's a pleasure. Come in. Good, good. Huh. Ants are just like people, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cute from far away, but really scary when you look at him through a microscope. You know, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about that he's in there. Uh, huh. <laughs> Nothing useful in here. How ironic. Um, eh? Hello, constituents. This is your president. When I took office three years ago, I made a solemn promise to help you, the American people. Now, thanks to your collective short-term memory, I can say that I've delivered on that promise. <laughs> Wait, do I use the bug on the... I can't let you think, oh. boy! Alright, alright, fine. The phone. Who are you calling, Sam? Ghostbusters! <gasps> Mista Pizza? Mista Pizza. Two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> okay. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House, I guess. The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. Uh... Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh, good job then. Damn it. All right, hold on. Who are you calling, Sam? White House. The White House. White House. Uh... Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure gonna be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. <laughs> is anyone there? Ah, I see. So if I just keep them on the phone... Would I just be able to walk in? No fucking way this would work. That'd be stupid. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! There's no way this actually works, right? That'd be stupid. Hello, is anyone there? Hello. 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 Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're oh, known for introducing this my God. embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. 
So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. What? I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. <gasps> and I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. That's it. <laughs> the president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out I... of it, Max, <laughs> and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized oh people. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. uh, oh no. That is, that's not going to work. Oh, my God. I did not have sex with that woman. It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those. Would want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down again. What? Picture. Are these pictures of you with cardboard cutouts of other presidents? <laughs> We're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny what? how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. Yeah, it's Clappy, Sam, and Max saved the world. How you doing, Miyako? Good to see you. The Liberty Bell is a light for this room, just as America is a light for... Yeah. Metaphor is such an ugly quality in furniture. Oh. Look at this real-ass magazine. House of Representatives and Gardens. <laughs> okay, let's see. The globe. Nice globe. Amazing how often I needed it in this job. <laughs> it's not wrong. Take a look at that. <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> this snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. Well, shake it then. This snow globe. What happens when you I'm shake it? Oh, okay. Well, what if I... I can't believe that works. All right. Hmm. It's a bunch of merit badges from the Weasel Scouts. I got one of those once, but they took it away when they found out what I used for bait. Ooh. Yeah, how you doing, Meowka? You doing all right? Ooh, ribbon. Hey, now, that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. Okay, fine, Jesus. Stand back, son. That there's the national budget. Uh, calendar. Hands off, boy. That's my presidential calendar. You look like a Muppet. Hey, Mac, do you work here? Wait, what tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet are down the hall. You're rude. This can only end in violence. <laughs> hmm, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Do you recognize him, Max? Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. <laughs> I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you seem familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah. I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats, the surly tone. I've got it. You're that pit boss from the Toy Mafia. I smell a conspiracy. <gasps> you smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. So, wait a minute. Was... Well, no, because the president's not behind it. What is going on here? Yeah, what are you doing here? What's the Toy Mafia got to do with the Secret Service? What Toy Mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. <laughs> I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. <laughs> That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. Uh, I suspect foul play. I think somebody may have hypnotized the president while you weren't looking. You, perhaps. Very funny. 
Uh, what do you do here? What do you do around here? I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asks the dumbest question of the day. Please accept my apologies, but we're all out of Husky Boys sizes. Okay, wow. Ooh, double burn. You are. I thought you were on my side, man. <laughs> That's just I rude. I call him like I see him, Sam. <laughs> that was, okay, that was, that was actually pretty good, though. You're a bodyguard? You're the president's personal bodyguard? You catch on quick. Hey! We need a private meeting with the president. National security. Go right ahead. I meant private, as in wait outside and we'll call you when we need you. And national security, as in we need to clobber the president on the head to break his hypnotic trance. <laughs> Your gift for subterfuge is uncanny, man. <laughs> and that's uncanny, as in you two try anything and I'll plug you. Uh, you're always with the Presidente? You're always with the President? Even when he's got a, you know... Always. I never leave his side. Your codependency sickens me. And it sickens me in exactly the same way, doesn't it, Max? I mean, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to bet that that was a... Uh, a fucked up line. But they're like, ah, that's funny, just throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bet that's what that's what happened. <laughs> so what's behind that door? What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Oh man. Come in together, Sam, or would you rather take turns? We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. Ow. How can you tell what's the real line? <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Who knows? God, it is so fucking hot. No, uh, so seriously, what's over there? Seriously, pal, what's behind that door? It's the door to the war room, with unrestricted access to the United States' entire arsenal of long-range missile weapons. I mean, yeah, it is There's Max no we're talking that about. I didn't like. Then it's unanimous. We'd like a tour. Nobody gets into the war room during peacetime. <laughs> Stay away from it, or I'll have to escort you out. Uh, listen. Two for the war room, please. Nothing doing. But and... Max came all this way. He's been dreaming of it for years. Can you look into those big brown slits he uses Aww. for eyes and crush the lifelong dream of a childlike rabbity creature? Even if I were moved by that kind of thing, which I ain't, this door stays locked at all times, unless we're in a war. God damn it. All right. We'll be back. I cannot wait. Let's see. Trophy. U.S. Senate talent show, second place. My finest hour. One first. Picture. Apparently, even U.S. presidents have mothers. Y yes. I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. <laughs> All right. Is that a potted plant or the vice president of the United States? It's really hard to tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence or a crude map of Lithuania. <laughs> Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased in lucite. TR or FDR? ER, I think. Mm. Let's see. Commemorative plates. These Fates. plates commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. Eating a lot and hitting things with sticks? Exactly. Baseball, apple pie, and hot dogs. <laughs> So American, I love it. This urn says Fluffy on it. Wasn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? Why? Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you finally done it. A straight line so easy, even Aww. I won't touch it. <laughs> this shit's so American. All right, what if I break the fucking urn? Is that gonna make up? He's got a Hugh Bliss book. There are so many other things to punch. I, I, he has a fucking, oh my God. Uh, 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 all right. What's this painting? Is that a Rothko? No, Sam, it's a painting. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. You show me anyone who's never done that with a nutcracker, I would show you a fucking liar. Everybody does that with nutcrackers. Everybody. <laughs> hmm. Throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. 
Hmm. Throw pillows shaped like stars. I guess the same Since thing. I doubt and I don't bullshit. Everyone does that with a nutcracker at least once. You haven't? That's because you never had one. If you had one, Raven, you would. Never been anywhere near a nutcracker. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine then. You're the weird one? We like weird around here, all right? But everybody, everybody has done that at least once. Ain't no goddamn way. All right, so I've accomplished like nothing in here so far. Are these pictures of you with? Oh, I've already seen these. We're all funny. Okay. Almost. All right, let's see. Um, can I just talk to the president? Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Ooh, finally, the interpreters. Where have you been? Uh, interpreters? Interpreters? Yeah. That is why you fellas are here, right? Sure, why not? Because I got a meeting with one of them foreign dignitaries. Always talking that crazy space language. What? Who are you meeting? Who are you meeting with today? Heck if I know. They show up and start jabbering away about treaties and whatnot. I just let the interpreters figure it out. I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't steal something or try to eat the cat. Uh, we're ready to interpret? We're ready to start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. Wait a minute. Oh my god, is Hugh Bliss? Keep up the good work, mister. You've got to know when to hold him, know when to fold him. The man's a genius, Sam. I almost feel bad for doing this. It's for the good of the country, Max. A ain't no fucking way it's Hugh Bliss. Right? No. That'd be stupid. Hello. Is anyone there? He's still there? Hello. Hello. Where are we going, Sam? You know what? I don't know whether I should be impressed or Shotgun. shocked or whatever. Hello. Wow. <laughs> I, I honestly, I'm impressed. I, I I think impress is the word I want to use. All right, Hugh Bliss, disappear. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yes, y yes, you are. C Christ. Can you disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Sam. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big. Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> okay. All right, so he's over there, or he's gone. Where are we going, Sam? No, he just came back. Never mind. Okay. No place. Never mind. Okay, so is it something with a stand? Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi. Hi. Can you disappear okay. again? Let's see. Is there anything to get or grab or anything? Hey, a free home delivery sign. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the Oh boy. Okay, oh my god. I have to put this as a fucking slogan. <laughs> Thank god. Hello. 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 You know what? Y you gotta commend the guy. You gotta commend the guy. He's no, sir. I said soda abuse. What? It's a very important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. Dead ringers for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversation? <laughs> Those accursed clones. When will the dangerous <laughs> mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. <laughs> oh no, momento, por favor. <laughs> you patient little guy, ain't he? <laughs> What's up, Stefan? How you doing? Let me just put this over here. No dice. Wait, really? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> It's time to interpret, I guess? 
Hello, Mr. President. We're ready to interpret for you. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. Prepare to die, capitalist oppressor. <laughs> Are you trying to pick a fight with me, son? No, I'm just trying to educate you on a very important <laughs> oh my issue. God. What did he say? We will lay waste to your cities and dance upon the bones of your children. I think I've heard just about enough. Soda abuse is a difficult topic, sir. But if you'll just hear me out... Beg for your life and I will kill you last. Wait a second. I heard that. That's not what I said. <laughs> what was that? It uh, loses something in the translation. <laughs> Let's start over from the top. Oh. <clears throat> Once again, Mr. President. The impact of soda abuse I, I on thought I had to, like, cannot do the war stuff. Okay, I got to see. I ask again. Great job, great job. What do you he say? said. Okay, let's see. Um... Your reign of terror ends today. Those are fattened words, boy. But soda abuse is a very serious problem. What was that? Uh... Men, launch the Dragoons. Our victory is at hand. Hold on there, son. We can still find a peaceful solution to this. That's all we want. The Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse <laughs> Prevention Program will bring peace to the lives of soda addicts everywhere. Aim Destructo Beam at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Stay on my mark. Three, two... Wait! I heard that! That's not what I said at all! I must have misheard you. Let's start over. Damn it! Was I? Oh, right! Soda abuse. How the fuck? How long can this come again? He said. Uh. How long can this epidemic continue? Epidemic? What's this about an epidemic? The epidemic of soda abuse, sir. By 2010, four out of five children will be addicted to soda. And the impact on our nation's. What was that? Uh. Something about soda abuse, blah, blah, whatever. Hmm. Sounds like one of them touchy-feely tack oh, and spam. Health check you got. Ever. Thank you, Nova. He said, hmm, sounds like one of those. I heard what he said. <laughs> Are you guys sure you're translating correctly? <laughs> Don't blame us, buddy. You're the one with a speech impediment. Try it again from the top, wizard. Where was I? Okay, oh, hold right. on. Soda Let's see. Abuse. How long? Come again? Okay, he hold said. on. Let's see. Uh, prepared. Are you trying to? No, I'm just trying. What did he say? Okay, hold on. Uh, is it the third one? I do it normally. Surrender now, and we. We will. What is he talking? Let's start over. Where was? Okay, it? hold How on. Come again. He said. Let's see. Uh, this oh, one. Those are fat. But soda. What was that? Uh. Hmm. Don't you realize that I've always loved you? Oh, well, I'm flattered, son, but. What are you talking about? Is he taking it well? Fuck up, Wizard. There'll be other presidents. <laughs> I don't understand. They're confused, Wizard. Try it again from the top. Damn it, okay. How long? Come again? He okay, I, I probably don't have everything. Wait a second. We need to consult our. Take your time, fellas. We're not paying you by the hour. Oh? You're not paying us at all. Uh, all right, Pister, let's, let, what, what's your dealio? But thanks for the help, Check Nova. What's new, Wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. What? <laughs> what are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota. <laughs> you read the papers? Just the funnies. You mean the obituaries, Max. <laughs> We're a young state 
but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the north and south. <laughs> <laughs> West Dakota. <laughs> All right. How did you get into politics? Oh my I won God. The it was a very close race, but I totally won the popular vote. Was it a runoff election? <laughs> you see what I did there? Runoff? <laughs> You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. <laughs> it was already funny enough on its own. <laughs> He had to explain it. Somehow made it so much funnier. <laughs> what were your qualifications for office? I'm a television celebrity. <sighs> now there's a platform I can get behind. <laughs> what are you doing here? What brings you to the Oval Office? I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Who's Mr. Sapp? <laughs> and why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell you. <laughs> my Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. Oh, uh, congrats. Tell us more about Mr. Sapp. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. But if we can't get federal funding, People all over the Dakotas are going to get right back on the pop. <gasps> I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week, just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. You don't have any money, Max. Oh, right. Never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. <laughs> you don't drink it at all? Can't spell TR. <laughs> I, got, I have to do that around my dog, because she, she knows the word. So you really kicked the soda habit, huh? And how? Back when I was on the pop, I was in a real downward spiral. That endless cycle of always looking for my next fizz, then having to take time out for number one. Then I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a seedy Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? What do you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like a nice cold soda? <gasps> hey, thanks. I'll take a... Whoa, no! Stay strong, wizard. You control the bubbles. The bubbles don't control you. <laughs> Stop talking about soda, will you? <laughs> Stop talking about the crisp, clean taste or the effervescent fizz as it pours over ice into a frosty glass. All of it. I've been completely flat for over a month now. I can't go back to the way I used to be. I just can't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we're ready to interpret. We're ready to interpret for you. Don't tell me. The president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. <laughs> can't understand a word. <laughs> See you around, wizard. Okay, so I gotta find the particular... Thing for this, Hello, Mr. I guess. Uh, you're hypnotized. Snap out of it, Mr. President. You've been hypnotized. Sure, I haven't been hypnotized. That's crazy talk. You've got to listen to us, sir, or we'll be forced to take drastic action. Don't talk to me about drastic action. You ever been pinned down in a drugstore parking lot by a pack of muskrat commandos with nothing left to lose? What? Ever had to gnaw your best buddy's leg off just so you could get his socks and put them on your own ears to fend off the enemy's deadly sonic regurgitator ray? What? Now that's crazy talk. I'm impressed. What? Wake up. Put on our brush a little bit of makeup, Mr. President. Wake up, Mr. President. You've never given up on anything in your life. Don't start now. That's awful nice of you fellas, but I haven't been hypnotized. Bam. Now do we commence with the head trauma, Sam? What was that? We'll have to get the president alone, Max. You're under arrest. Freelance police, you're under arrest. Freelance police? Now there's the kind of can-do vigilante attitude that makes America strong. Finally, someone who appreciates our greater calling. Seriously, you're under arrest. Oh, you can't arrest me. Foolish chief executive, does he not fear us? Trust us, Mr. President. It's for your own good. 
Nah, see, it's the Secret Service regulations. I can't leave the Oval Office. What? You're still under arrest. We can get your administration back on track with just a hint of bloodshed if you'll just... Where does the little one keep his gun? Best not to think about it, sir. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, right. how right, let's see. Can they... again? He said... Um... Oh, wait. What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. An ice-cold orange sugar <gasps> I swear by him. No, that's not what I want at all. I must resist. But I am thirsty. And just one couldn't hurt. <gasps> Frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost feel bad about this. I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? <gasps> oh! Oh! Blessed angels of carbonation! Fill me with your syrupy nectar! Ew! <laughs> yeah, now I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. <laughs> more! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom. Oh. Which way is the bathroom? Uh. Where's the bathroom? Oh, that's easy. Go out the door behind you. Take a right. It's the door with the big portrait of LBJ over it. Wait, say the line. Say the line. Oh. Time out for number one. Yeah. I'm sure he won't be long. He's an excitable little guy, ain't he? Where was I? Oh, right. How long can this come again? Oh, he I said. see. Okay. I need another soda. No problem. I yes, more. Is it gonna do it every time? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I've already forgotten where the bathroom is. Oh. Which way is the bathroom? Uh, oh, wait. Which way is the war room? It's ah! The right over there. But I don't... Oh, thank you. Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there. Bad. We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. Uh-oh. No, it's just number one. <laughs> Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation. <laughs> Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please, let me... <laughs> that was fun. Okay, now I didn't catch all that. What did he say? <laughs> ah, he's alone now. <laughs> I can punch the proud no. Go, 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 go! Quick now before he gets time back. for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? <laughs> Gladly. Look at fellas, my fingertips look like little tadpoles. <gasps> oh shit! They just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, <gasps> the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotize E, not hypnotize her. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV-watching public. But who was controlling him? I'm gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation. Oh, shit. What? What have you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it. <laughs> So these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas. <laughs> Still, ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. But now that these idiots have forced my hand... Uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and Degambe, we are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh my god. Not quite the reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? <laughs> so, hi, Suri. What's up, buddy? I see you there. 
Listen, scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Tuesday. Not Taft, you deficient. <laughs> My fellow Americans, <laughs> I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I'll get it! What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecha Lincoln wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. <gasps> hate when they do that. That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. Oh my. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next president <laughs> of the United States. for break that fucking hell <laughs> y'all <laughs> take this time get some food it's a drink take care. <laughs> take care of yourself uh, top of the hour, sure. We'll do that. that that's a good 18 minutes. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the words on stream, and I'll... Uh, <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Holy crap!
Just passing by, flashing signs and big bright lights. Can't help but think it all was a lie. Truth was slanted. Man, this music's going a lot harder than I thought it would have. Huh. Anyways, we're back. Hi, everyone. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed y'all's a pricky. <laughs> well, I guess y'all can tell that I did. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> that one just snuck up on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so, Abraham Lincoln is back. Well, he's here. And fucking Max is going to run for president. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Why? Why is the submarine here? Oh no, it's the president's severed head. It's the severed head of the president. I yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone. What? You're thinking of Medusa's head. Oh. oh. Yeah, I always get those two heads confused. Yep, Abraham Lincoln telling D. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Totally. Right? Oh my god. Free home delivery. Oh my god. Who do you like in the election? My money's on Lincoln, and Lincoln's on my money. Oh my Whatever. god. That's such a deep voice, Jesus. Hi, America. It's me, Max. What? Remember, a vote for me is a vote for prosperity, alacrity, and the tyranny of my furry white iron fist. Thank you. I see. Ooh, flyers. I like those. It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you. Honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. Oh my god. Am I gonna hook up Sybil with fucking Abraham Lincoln? Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Shut up. No, that's not what we're doing. Is it? <laughs> there ain't no fucking way. I have an application. Whee! Oh my god. Oh my god, we. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? A new application? Yeah, it's uh, for a friend of ours. Let's see. Not THE Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. <sighs> that chump doesn't have half my cute, fluffy marketability. Do you think your computer can find him a date? Computer? Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. <laughs> oh, he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. <laughs> hey, 
Sybil. How goes the dating game? What's your number? Computer-generated love is in the air. <laughs> Uh, I guess I need to... Sure. Oh my god, I can't... <laughs> Holy shit! I still gotta find the money for Bosco, though. Um, for the truth serum? Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> Fuck it. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! <sighs> Let's... Watch from Podcast the original eight. <laughs> this fucking game. I forgot how hilarious this this game was. Like I, I don't know. Th this might tempt you to play the originals as well, honestly. So like, can I go into the war room? Let's see. Nope. I will figure out after this health check. Brought to you by Sergeant. Rolliner Space Wolves. Ah. I mean, I did just have my brickies, but it can never hurt to have uh, a little bit extra. All right. Oh, crap, I'm out of water. That's all right. Just in case, I brought a backup. And what's the backup? <laughs> Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. Don't fucking judge me. <laughs> I have a kid at heart, all right? D -d 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 Shut up. Mm. Oh, fuck, yeah. Uh, jam you with your Kool-Aid liquid daddy. That shit, that fucking, I hate these damn straws. Get in there! Thank you. Eee! Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's that good shit. Mm. All right, so. Oh, no, not this guy again. <laughs> It's our pal, Super Bowl! One and the same, sir. Well, stand aside, pal. No can do, sir. Orders. Are you really happy with this line of work? Finest job in the world, sir. Don't you ever just want to take off for some personal time? Would love to, sir. Got a wife at home. Intel suggests Super Bowl Jr. is starting first grade. Super Bowl. Summer home with plenty of doors I could guard in my time off. Solid oak. Good doors. Strong doors. Super Bowl? <laughs> Let us into that room. No can do, sir. Orders. Until I hear from Chuckles, my superior officer. I'm to guard this door. Why won't you let us into the war Please? room again? Please? Just following orders, sir. I can't let anyone into the room. No exceptions. Uh, we'll find a way past you. Want to hear a really boring story? So boring that I fall asleep and let you enter the war room? Oh, so you've heard it already. I stand guard over doors all day, sir. <laughs> Takes a lot to bore me. <laughs> we'll be back. Roger that. Oh, god damn it. All right, well. So, do I need to have Max declare war on Abraham Lincoln? And don't worry, I also noticed the pets. Thank you. All right, fuck it. Mr. Lincoln, as a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues. Followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Hmm, I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. So I just assumed I'd be running unopposed. Well, unfortunately... Oh, no, you didn't! You ain't all that! Oh my I god. I the slave! I was star of a popular television sitcom! I'm on the penny! I was on TV! Now, gentlemen, we can resolve <laughs> this like adults through moderate drink, reason debate. Blackleaf tea? Very That's well. tea, though. This is In the spirit of late. democracy, I say, <laughs> bring it. And it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn as we bring you the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. President. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and representing the random violence and destruction party, there is the hyperkinetic, rabbit-like creature known as Max. Acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates <laughs> will be sent. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in. Um. Oh. Oh, I like actually choose. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh. 
Uh, you like strong tea? But, 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 again, this is this is this is Kool Aid. <laughs> Not many adults drink this. Um, Mr. Lincoln, we've picked out a single lady friend who would be just perfect for you. She has a job and still has all her own teeth. Let me give you her number so you can give her a call. Ain't no reanimated president too big to appreciate a booty call. Know what I'm saying? Oh my god. What? The idea is preposterous. <gasps> I've been happily married for over 150 years. I would never consort with another woman. Oh shit. Oh, I see. So the rumors are true. What rumors? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, let's see. How do you plan to solve mm -hmm. the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. <laughs> well, a very controversial proposal from candidate Lincoln, and the crowd did not like it. Yeah, that get fucked. Let's see how it affected the polls. Nader? Uh, okay. Hmm, let's see. Do I just pick one? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. No. Two wrongs don't make a right. No. Free home delivery. Oh, it's only those three, huh? Alright. Hmm. Let's see. I'm glad that I've been given one more. Uh, can I ask this again, I guess? It's time for another in this ongoing series of debates between Abraham Lincoln and Max. We turn you over to our impartial moderator, Sam. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um... Contestants, it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. I'd He's like saying you to up your stand on drink issues in a few Oh, sorry, words. fucking. Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm doing I'm more of a. This will have to be completely off the top of my head, as I have nothing prepared. I, I, I've been a little bit thanky right now. Uh, okay. Uh, that you drink appy juice. Hold on, let me see. Drink diet coke and occasionally appy juice. Fuck yeah, appy juice gang rise up. Um, okay, one more life to give. Uh... Where do you stand on religion and schools? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Lincoln pulls out his trusted catchphrase for this election, which delights the crowd, but seems to have oh. no effect on the polls. Uh, but? How would you describe your tax plan? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. And Lincoln dodges the question by pulling out his trusty campaign slogan, which raises the crowd God and has damn no effect it. on the poll. Alright, let's see. Uh Greetings, miserable proles. Uh This election reminds me of a droll story. It seems Chester A. Arthur and the Pope were kayaking down the Amazon one day. What? Suddenly, a tiny Kandiru fish swims up the Pope's and lodges oh. itself in his oh. Arthur grabs the Pope's tires oh. and swelled up like a oh. melon. And the Pope says, thanks. Last time that happened, McKinley wanted to oh. No, wait, wait, wait. I think I told it wrong. Of death of a salesman on ice, but I haven't studied and I can't remember my lines. 
Suddenly, it begins to rain marshmallows, but that's okay, because trees are made of graham crackers, and chocolate bars are the official currency. I believe that by working together, we can make that dream a reality. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see how the fuck episode 5 is going to be if we actually make Max fucking president. <laughs> uh, I see, thanks for the contribution towards Owlboy. Mucho apreciato. I believe in the ideal of a global community, where America is but a small part. We must set aside our differences and work with our fellow nations, all united towards one goal. Thank you as well, Miyako. A complete and utter annihilation of the godless Belgians. <laughs> oh no! Max! <laughs> want to see a return to the prosperity of the America we once knew. A chicken in every pot and vice versa. And a pot in every chicken? If elected, I promise a return to a happier time in America's past. The days when giant thunder lizards marched over the fern-covered marshes of the Midwest, preying on the upstart mammals. <laughs> <coughs> America. Uh, okay, so I think I need more cue cards or something. I I guess? Was there one in here? There was. There was the funny, haha. -ha. Do I... Do I just take it? <laughs> it's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. The buck stops here, a thousand points of light, and I did not have sex with that woman. Well, I did, but I didn't inhale. What? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, he says. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna destroy the godless Belgians. I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Mr. Lincoln, perhaps you'd like to speak about the importance of family values. Of course. A strong family unit is the rock upon which our society is built. It's easy today in this age of your blinged out horseless carriages and racy daguerreotype magazines to believe that honesty and fidelity are outdated concepts. But I stand proud. I have been completely faithful to my lovely wife, Mary Todd, for over seven score years. I've never even looked at another woman. Mr. Lincoln, could you elaborate on your stand on family values? Without a strong, honest, I love how it's framed like a family, camera. That's a nice we touch. Are all nothing. I myself have been faithful to my wife for over 150 years. Uh, let's Mr. see. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters you're... Very well. Uh, let's see. Uh... Mm -hmm. That's enough. Keep them coming. Okay, so it's the tax and... Uh... A thousand uh... points of light. Thousand points of light, and what was the other one? The buck stops here. Oh! Hey, uh, Mr. Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, I'd very well. Uh, how would you describe your tax plan? How would you describe your tax plan? The buck stops here. We're not quite sure what Lincoln meant by that, so it looks like, yes, the American people have decided to ignore it. What? Religion and schools? Where do you stand on religion and schools? The buck stops here. We're not quite sure what Lincoln meant by that, so it looks like... Uh... Okay, religion, schools, That's tax plan... Um, Time out. Max... I'm drunk with... Let's see... Hmm... Free home delivery. 
Not that one. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give uh, for my country. No. Two wrongs don't make a right. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that, Raven, yeah. Mr. Very Where do you stand on religion and schools? Two wrongs don't make a right. Did we hear that right? <gasps> like it just came down against both religion and education. <laughs> wow, that's gotta hurt him in the polls. <laughs> Alright, so now I gotta fuck with the the tax one. Do I have that one? I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so let me see. Do I call Sybil from here? Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Oh, okay, hold on. 555-1984. Where are we going, Sam? Okay, I get it. Back to the office. Back to the Shotgun! We gotta go talk to Sybil. Jesus Christ. Shout out to the Belgians out there. I don't know if there are any here, but you know what? Uh, I wouldn't blow y'all up. Like Abraham Lincoln totally would. <laughs> All right, Sybil, I got your number. Hey, Sybil. How goes the dating game? Computer generated <laughs> love is in the air. So do I have... Uh... Huh? What are you looking for in a date again? I would love to meet a tall, older man with a good career. Well, I got that for you, but how do I give you his number? How does this dating service... People submit applications when they're looking for... You call your... Okay. How's business? Slow right now, but those... Uh, See you around, Sybil. Do I gotta use your intercom? Go ahead, next caller. You're on Love Talk with Dr. Feel Nice. Hey, <laughs> keep away from my intercom. Dr. Feel Good. Yeah, they got nice chocolate. You boys want to try the dating scene again? Mm. No thanks. Last time was too horrifying. <laughs> Just drop an application in there if you change your mind. Uh, do I gotta do it again? Oh, wait, maybe I gotta um, go over there. Get a... Whee! Yes, get a wee. Uh, I'm sure they're Where everywhere going, at this Sam? point. Uh, You're off to the put oh, the number on there and then give it to her? And he asked if Max Day was gonna blow a hole to the American size. Oh. Yeah, I, I've never watched Doctor Who myself, so those references, they just go. I can't get another one. Uh, okay. This is a problem. I have the number. I have like a sign. Oh yeah, Room what the fuck? Room for I rent. I guess the country really is hard up for cash. <sighs> Fucking renting out the White House? Jesus. So I can't get another one, huh? Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy. Beat it. All right. Why is this here? <laughs> the White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. Because I've yet to use the little guy. And I still need a lot of money. Uh, like that. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, the networks are looking for a soundbite. Would you care to share a few words with us? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Oh, today is the day we return America to greatness. Oh, I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people. But with the oh. people, only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. I said basically the same thing. I get it. Time out. I think we're on the verge of a... Okay, hold on. So I got to bug the president. There we go. Mr. Lincoln, would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be yep. remembered for <laughs> centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. 
I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. What did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called. He wants his beard back. I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk. Save it for the debate, Mac. <laughs> oh my god. I have to give this book to Sybil, so... <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! <laughs> Oh my god! I actually am hooking up Sybil with motherfucking reanimated Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and so, how goes the computer? Oh my god! Um. What are you looking for in a date again? I would love to meet a tall. Okay, wait. So do I just so give you the around, bug? So. I guess. Is this what you want? Wait, no, shit! Oh, damn it. Huh. I thought I'd like, give it to her and be like, hey, listen to this. Call her on your phone. Oh, wait, maybe. Hold on. Okay, here's what. Hmm. Meter made? Hey. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. No, that's super correct. Is that... They were doing that in the beginning! Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 okay. Whee! Where are we going, Sam? All right, back to the White House. Okay, yeah, so... <laughs> gonna have Abraham Lincoln call Sybil. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so fucking awesome. Yeah, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. This is a date I stand only a Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Give me Buck back. And then, <laughs> and then we're gonna go back to the office. Where are we <laughs> going, Sam? Back shot. All right. All right. All right, 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 all right. All right. All right. All right. So then... <laughs> it's hilarious. It's so, it's so good. Okay, so, if I, yeah, it, it's super all right. It's all right, all left, it's all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. Okay, phone. Who are you calling, Sam? <laughs> Sybil. Hello, Abe? Is it you? Uh, you bet. Honest Abe here. Very funny, Sam. I have... Oh, I see. Okay. Use the bug on the phone. Who are you calling, Sam? <laughs> Sybil. Uh -huh. Hello, Abe. Is that you? Oh shit. Uh. I stand here at the steps of the White House. What? Who is this? I'm waiting for a very important. Oh shit. Okay, I see. Uh, fucking hell. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. Sybil. Hello? I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, well, Mr. President, it's just, it's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application, and I was wondering, would you mind to call <gasps> sometime? This is a date that will be remembered <laughs> for centuries to come. I stand here at the steps of the White House. At the White House. Got it. What time should I meet you? <laughs> the time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. <laughs> I'm going to slap you. <laughs> <soon>. <laughs> that last I will 
season Question in the audience from someone who is not candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh my god! Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Oh my god! Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm here. Are you ready for our date? What? I've never seen this woman before in my life. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. <laughs> oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. <gasps> Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> <gasps> Family values, Abe caught a tree. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, I'd like very well. Uh, how would you describe your tax plan? I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> and Lincoln has confused the crowd with another well-intentioned but senseless statement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tax plan. That's enough um, for now. Keep them coming. Tax plan. Mr. Lincoln, would you like to address the audience again? Of course. This is a date that will be remembered uh, for centuries. I stand here at the steps of the White House. Only okay, now that's to just that. Um, Greetings, miserable proles. Let's see. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And the chupacabra, Madre de Dios, he'll kill us all. <gasps> I'm a me. People of Earth. Your day of reckoning is at hand! I'm a uniter, not a divider. I foresee an America under one rule, an iron-fisted rule. One rabbit, one law. Let your neighbors know that dissent will not be tolerated. All hail Max. Hail Max! <laughs> that is all. <laughs> okay, I'm so close, like... I gotta figure out, so, Sybil, oh Jesus, I need to see how she's doing. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> Back to the- Shotgun! <laughs> Fucking, that shit killed me. When it was doing Abraham Lincoln, and the book's like, I don't feast on your entrails. <laughs> that shit fucking killed me. Hi, Sybil. Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah. Now I'm running a dating service. What? Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that oh. tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. <laughs> There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? <laughs> Plenty of people! Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. It's also naughty fun for your next bachelorette party. <laughs> and now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? What? That's the one. Now everybody is convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. <laughs> okay. How does carbon dating work? 
I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. <laughs> I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's, it's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich! Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. So uh, you need a grant, huh? You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention Ooh. all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. <laughs> Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. So, I had to get her a grant. See you around, Sybil. Okay, uh, man. She switched jobs twice in a, in a single episode. What a... She's so varied. Like, I mean, that, that takes talent. To be able to, like, switch that much? Jesus. Alright. So, where does one get a grant from? Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yes, hello. Actually, wait, hold on. Stay. Hold on, is there a sign in here? I just realized, I, I, it's, it's been a while since I've been here. Let's see. Ah, greetings, comrade, dog, and rabbit. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay, um... Sign, sign, sign. Sign, sign. Tongue poster? Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. Oh. I got quite a few tongues that way. Oh. How horrifying. Uh. Sign? Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! Okay, not that sign. Okay. Uh. I still just have these three things. I'm trying to think. Um. If I was a sign that Clappy has not collected yet, where would I be? Is that a. Is that a corgi farting? <laughs> uh, I'm so childish. <laughs> uh, posters? Nah. Give me all you got. It's the army's new recruiting slogan. It's a oh. lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, <gasps> there's no room in the military budget for quality. Of oh music. my god. <laughs> We're off to the White House. <laughs> 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 I like how Raven and Miyako said the same thing. <laughs> Give me all you got. <laughs> Let's hear about the issues, buddy. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters <laughs> your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. How would you describe your tax plan? How would you describe your tax plan? Give me all you got. 
And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt him in the polls. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh the results from the emergency election. Oh my god! In. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United <laughs> States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan <laughs> solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Everyone's asking for a recount. You've got to be bing me. <laughs> 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 Abe Lincoln will enslave you <laughs> from the east coast if we don't stop it. <laughs> Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. <gasps> yes! They said the thing! <laughs> oh my fucking god. That's not even worth a comment. Oh my god. It's just the severed head of the... I can't... I can't believe that actually... <laughs> well, there you have it, everyone. Max is officially the president of the United States of America. He's running to the chair. <laughs> Finally, Mr. President, you're here. Oh That's the president? People will vote for anyone these days. <laughs> Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. Oh. All right, peepus. Look, Max, it's our old pal. <clears throat> Look, Grand Imperial Warlord Maximus Optimus. <laughs> <of the> <laughs> It's our old pal, the former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Coopers. <laughs> That's former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Governor Peepers. Govern? Oh my god, are they all governors? What the hell? You're a governor too? That's right, I got North Dakota. <laughs> North Dakota, the leftover state. <laughs> I thought it was North Dakota, still warmer than Saskatchewan. Hey, be nice. We've got a rich and varied history. Oh North Dakota, hope you like snow. <laughs> North Dakota, come climb all over our big white butte. Hey, sorry, I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> What's there to do in North Dakota? What's there to do in North Dakota? Plenty. Snowmen, snow angels, snow forts, snowball fights, homemade ice cream, and of course, the majesty of Mount Rushmore. That hasn't been decided yet. Right, I spoke too soon. Are, are, wait, are, 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 are they fighting over who's getting Mount Rushmore? <laughs> what business do you have in the office? Wait a minute. We need the president to settle custody of Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, tell me where to sell it. <laughs> the problem is solved. But seriously, if you guys see the president, tell me where <laughs> Oh my god. Max really is president now. It was in the papers. We haven't been watching the news back in Fargo. We've been so busy with the arms. Oh my build god. Up. Uh, did I say arms build up? I meant winter paradise <laughs> toboggan and scrapbooking yeah, jamboree. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? We can if we all just keep quiet and avoid another incident. Honesty is rarely the best policy. All us presidents know that. <sighs> so long, peeps. All right, <laughs> Specs. Hey, Specs. Max, you remember... <clears throat> Most omnipotent exaltedness, Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Specs, the other soda popper. We vaguely recognize our loyal subject. What are you guys talking about? Kiss the ring. What? No. <laughs> what are you doing?
good. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> yeah, sing it! Sing your theme song for us. No, I don't sing that anymore. I want to be respected as more than just a beloved TV celebrity. If it makes you feel better, you were never really that beloved. Ooh. Sam and I always watched your show with detached irony. Oh, they're not all gonna... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I was hoping it'd happen again. All right, fine. What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of South Dakota. <laughs> oh, my hey, God. just like Wizard. No, not just like Wither. I was the first one of us to run for office. <laughs> like you invented it. You just, ah, uh, forget it. <laughs> what are you doing as governor? I'm fixing the problems in the state and getting it back to perfect working order. <laughs> Did you know that the Black Hills are really more of a greenish gray? <gasps> We've got a committee addressing the problem. But what about the Badlands? We're making them even worse. This game series is amazing. It is. I, I, I'm I so glad that Skunk Ape, like, got the, I guess, the rights to, like, remaster these games, because these games are fucking awesome. Uh, like, I did want to do this as a bit more of a test for, like, more just point-and-click games, like I did with Brock. I, I, I think this is solidifying that at some point I'll probably do Season 2, because holy shit. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal... It, it is... Okay. Nothing. It's the Awkward. same thing there. Okay. Leader Specs. Because th there's three seasons. And I only really remember the first one, even though I have all three of them. Welcome back, Governor Wizzer. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> How did West Dakota become a separate state? The three of us ran for governor together. We got along so well during the campaign, and we were all such former TV celebrities that all three of us won. The voters realized they'd elected three governors for only two states. <laughs> That's when the unpleasantness began. What was the unpleasantness? Uh, was it also called the most horrible, most depressing, most violent, tragic event in human history? What was the unpleasantness? We fought for a long time about how to divide up the states. There was almost a war! But we divided everything up fairly and all agreed that Mount Rushmore should be in the south. We did not! You guys <laughs> won! <laughs> oh, never mind. I just love how pissy Wizard is. He's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> although I guess, although I guess, considering what happened um, in the other episodes, this is understandable. And honestly, Raven, I probably won't make those like game goals because I did put this one up as a test to see if y'all would want to see point and click stuff. Because I, I already knew that I'd enjoy this. So this one's more of a test. Like, I think at this point, I, I super will do. Uh, two and three at some point. I, I think season two, like the remaster, is done. I'm not sure about three. I'll have to... I'll have to check on that. So, why do you want Mount Rushmore? Why should your state get Mount Rushmore? Because they just want it for tourism. But my plan will save lives. It'll become a monument to soda abuse prevention. People will realize that just like Washington... Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy. They too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbonated beverages. George Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? Why not divide it up equally? That would never work. It's not even. Each of you could get a third of Roosevelt. I want the mustache. I wanted the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Max gets Roosevelt's mustache, Specs gets the glasses, Peepers, you get an ear and both nostrils. What just leaves me with the forehead? <laughs> All right then, Wizard, we'll throw in Crazy Horse, but that's my final offer. It's not even finished. <laughs> this will never work. It's just like that. <laughs> Thirsty? Yes. 
But you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, grape soda, pop, some more orange soda, and tea. Tea, please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Stay dry, <laughs> wish man. That's so mean. <laughs> Can't you get us into the war room, Max? I kept hearing about presidential powers, but it's all just boring bureaucratic <laughs> stuff. I was hoping I'd be able to make things explode with my mind. The soda poppers aren't the close-knit band they used to be. Yeah. They're just one inappropriate comment away from full-on violence. <laughs> just like you and me, pal. What now? What are we doing here, Max? I keep getting whiny memos about the giant robotic Abraham Lincoln who's rampaging through Washington, enslaving the populace. I guess we'd better do something about that. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch, Sam. I mean that. All right, so I have a ribbon. We can use this to appoint an honorary cabinet secretary. Cabinet secretary. Uh, can I use it on myself? Not a good choice for a cabinet secretary. Damn it! All right. Uh, but <laughs> Bosco? <laughs> Sam? I, I I need a uh, oh after that rampaging Lincoln. You're oh, wow. going down, Ow. Abe. So we're chasing Abe, huh? All right, how's this gonna? What do we? What do we? Yep, there he is. Ow! Well, he wasn't hard to find. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. <laughs> That's pretty profound for a high-speed car chase, Max. I like to think I transcend genre convention, Sam. Uh. Whoa! My horn hitting kind of different, it seems. The bullets have no effect. He's made of marble, Max, and fueled by rage. Uh. It's Lincoln we need to stop at this point. Is it the? My gun just isn't big enough. Hmm. I need to like hit something. Oh, I can actually hit things. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Just kind of doing his own little thing here. We have you surrounded, Abe. Pull over and let's discuss it. Lincoln Smash! Oh. He's a testy little emancipator, isn't he? Hmm. I gotta shoot something, I assume, but what? Hmm. It's Lincoln we need to stop. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Was there a ramp? Hold on, what was that? What what was that actually? Do do it again. Do 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 that cool little flip. What the hell was that? Let me let me let me flip again. That was sick. I want to do another flip. That was really cool. Come on. Let me flip. Yeah. Okay, but why though? Where we um, going, back to the office. Back to the office, I guess. All right, so I gotta. Huh. I guess we'll check on Sybil. Sybil, you all right? <laughs> Are you doing okay? Hi, Sybil. What's new? Nothing around here. Uh, all oh, right. See you around, Sybil. Wait, do I? Wait, no. Uh, would you like to? I now appoint the Secretary of Labor. Wait, thanks, really? But no, thanks, Max. Oh. But you've had about a dozen different jobs. You'd be perfect for a cushy cabinet position in charge of the country's labor force. What do you think my first job was? There's a reason I switched to tattooing. Ah. Is it actually Bosco? No fucking way. She is that I I I'm sure I tried that. 
All right, bo boss. It, 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 am I actually giving this shit to Bosco? It. Oh my god. Let's see. <laughs> let's, let's see. Oh, Mr. President, please do not execute me. <laughs> Let's see. We would like to appoint the Secretary of Homeland Insecurity. Homeland Insecurity. I am wanting no part of your corrupt Yankee administration. And the corrupt. Well, we want a cushy government job. Oh, I get it now. You want me right where you can keep your eye on me. Your paranoia is sucking all the fun out of this presidency, Bosco. Uh, let's hey, see. Hey, Bosco. Yeah. Uh. Tell us about that missile defense system again. I'm working on modifying BTAS Part 2. Once this. I get funded for it, it'll be able to shoot down any ICBMs targeted at the store. Uh, is evil, but so, uh... Isn't that a little pricey for truth serum? It's bargain. It really does work, and I haven't even tried it yet. Sam, this morning I used your toothbrush. Results <gasps> are guaranteed. I used it to clean out my ears. Ugh. This is refreshingly liberating. Besides, I need the money to complete my satellite defense system. I needed to clean out my ears because I'd been rummaging through. Okay, I've heard enough. Ugh. Hmm. We'll take that truth serum. Is yours, but only 100 million American Where the fuck am I gonna seem to get have left that? 100 million dollars in my other suit. We'll be back. Shit. Hmm. Nothing for us right now. Uh. Das wird will get you on flip. Okay, so who am I? Who am I appointing? Is it Hugh Bliss? Would, would that work? I'm trying to figure out who I gotta put the ribbon on. Hugh Bliss? Here you go. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Max. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Y yes, hi. Right, Max would like to give you something. For your service to the realm, we would like to appoint you Secretary of Magic and Wonder. Why, thank you, Max. But I'm afraid I can't accept a government job. Oh, oh I'm a citizen of the universe. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Uh, there's no one in the office to use it on. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the White House. We're off to the oh, boy. Do I have to give it the Jimmy? Thankfully, triplets? Oh, that's a possibility. Let's... Wait, why am I... I want to go in here. Yeah, thank you. Is somehow less human? <laughs> not wrong. You are not wrong. All right, Jimmy Two Fox. There you go. Not a good choice for a cabinet secretary. Not with that attitude. Give it to Max himself? Not a good choice for... Yeah, I kind of figured that he couldn't monopolize the power. National... Bu oh, wait! There's an idea. Hold on! I didn't even think about that! Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have one hundred million dollars to allocate however you want. A delightfully random and convenient figure. <laughs> oh my God. These three motherfuckers. All right, let's appoint Pisser. Hey, wizard, Max has something special for you. Is it a soda? Even better. We now appoint you Secretary of Incontinence. <laughs> oh, thanks, but I've got to focus on being governor and stopping soda abuse. <laughs> uh, peepers. It's your lucky day, peepers. We would like to appoint you Secretary of Wide-Eyed Unrealistic Optimism. I can't accept that. I've got a state to govern. 
All right, four Thanks. eyes. Max has a surprise for you. We would like to appoint you Secretary of Anal Retention. <laughs> I've already got a job I love. <laughs> I don't know, the potted plant? Not a good choice for a Super Bowl? Max, I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator <laughs> of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball. Oh. Uh. Secretary of the Interior. We already have one of those. Oh, exterior? We have one of those too. Fine, Secretary of the Posterior. <laughs> 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 so we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail Max. Hail Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. What? You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take this fucking... Yeah. I'm not a secretary, sir. That was fun! <laughs> Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Max says you can take a vacation. We will make an exception just this once. Thank you, sir, but no can do. <gasps> can only take a vacation on federal holidays. Oh, wait. We'll be back. Roger that. Hold on. Wait, what if? Not a good choice for a cabin. Okay, wait, wait. What if I just... It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme <gasps> Court justices in their skimpiest, naughtiest swimsuits. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! <laughs> we now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. <laughs> That's supposed to be Administrative Professional's Day. <laughs> wow, Sam. When I picked you for Vice President, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding-heart liberal. <laughs> All right, then. Secretary's Day. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> there you go. Max, I mean his better get those handkerchiefs ready. Agent Superball for your for your un for uh, all Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh <laughs> we'll do this one. Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Emissions. All hail Max. Hail Max. Hey Soups. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. Yeah! I love this country. <laughs> to the war room! I think the war room door is only openable in time of war. Son Stupid of old piece. Son of a bitch. All right. Max, I need you to declare war. To Jesus. Uh... What's the date today, Max? I'm president of the United States, Sam. What date do you want it to be? Oh, wait. Can't you get us into the war room, Max? I kept hearing about presidential. I was hoping oh, wait, 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 wait. things explode. Hold on. I'm glad. Keep in touch. So, is there a date that's like today's war oh, day or some shit? No. Uh. Hmm. It. People of Earth, we have now changed the official date. <laughs> Mark your calendars, update your checks. All hail Max. Hail Max! Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Sybil. Now that she's got a shit ton of money now. Uh, yeah, hold, hold on to the office, um... Sir... Going, Sam? Sir Goose Honkington. Back to... Check all right, all right. We're talking to Sybil. We're talking to Sybil. All right. Cause she's got, she's got, she's so fucking rich now. 
In the book unless I missed it? No, I did. I funded Sybil for her historic landmark bullshit. Ooh, Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. Yep. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot I'm a sucker before for narrowly capitalism. escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. That sound. It, it, it haunts me. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Take it! Yeah! Why do I have this? <laughs> uh... I don't know what it's for. Do I use it on something and give it to Bosco that makes it worth? That's worth a hundred million? Like the tiki? Hmm, Sybil must have read her machine wrong. It says this tiki is only ten years old. <gasps> I thought that price tag on the bottom looked suspicious. <laughs> how old are you? How are you, buddy? Odd. Max, have you been dieting? What? Uh, how old is this fox? It's eight years old. Poor little guy was probably heading to his eighth birthday party when he got shot, stuffed, mounted, and sold in a tacky souvenir store. No, oh. he's got that haunted look about him. I bet he offed himself and donated his body to taxidermy. Oh! You see the bright side in everything, Max. <laughs> oh my god, how about this cactus? I don't want to know how old that is. Why not? How old is the relax sign? I don't want to know how old that is. My god damn it. Uh, hello? It's locked. Oh, the fuck you keep it locked? Um, okay. Uh, I have the scanner, but I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to scan. Do I scan Hugh Bliss? How old are you? Hmm, that's weird. It says his age is burnt sienna. <laughs> oh my weird. god. He doesn't look a day over tope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they made put there, but it was open in the last episode. Could have just reused it. Hmm. Alright, BSQ. How old are you? Oh, what is that? Keep that away from me. Relax, Bosco. It only tells how old you are. Well, why do you need to know that? Did someone send you to find out how old I am? Sheesh, never mind. That's your problem with dating, Sam. You give up too easily. Whee! <laughs> ah, it never gets old. <laughs> uh, hmm. Foamy bread. No, no. I don't. I want to talk to the rabbit. Uh, yeah. Where are we going to find a hundred million dollars? I could donate my body to science again, but the guys at the lab seemed pretty spooked last time. Science fears what it can't explain, little boy. Oh, well, oh, that's a good... Actually, I'm actually curious. Hold on. Let me ask all these first. Uh... Bosco's paranoia is really getting out of hand. You think he's acting crazy today? You should see what he was doing in those surveillance videos I took last night. What? This storm music sure is catchy. Yeah. It burrows into my synapses like a deer tick. Now there's a quote for the album cover. <laughs> uh, Where are we going to what find you say for I this? Could donate my body to science again. Science fears what it can't. Oh, okay. Need any items for your administration, El Presidente? I have a meeting with the Israeli ambassador this afternoon, Sam. I was thinking of getting some boiled shrimp, pressurized cheese, and pork rinds. Well, it's the thought that counts. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, no. I guess we should get back to work. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's see how old these little, these little weenies are. I'm curious. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Holy uh, shit! Yeah, it's a special bargain for you. Still tasty. A half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. Oh. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, of course. Oh my and god. Heritage of my people. 
Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Oh my god. Back to the Oval Office. <laughs> We're going to give Bosco his money. <laughs> By abusing... <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? We're <laughs> so that means he has to give us the truth serum, right? He has to. <laughs> he has to. <laughs> oh my god, budget it. So now we don't fund that, or. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hey, I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. So we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it oh up. Oh my last. god. This is a bottle of vodka. If it works. Get a couple of shots of that. I'll tell you all this. Thanks, Bosco. <laughs> and uh, Delta. This game is unchanged from the original version. Aside from, you know, touching it up graphically. The original games came out like 2007? Hold on, let me double check that. But yeah, no, like, th th this is a completely... Uh, why the fuck is it opening it in the Steam itself? No. Uh, let me double check, was it? Yeah, 2007. So, yeah. It's... It, it, it is totally not what you're thinking. But I will say, the, the timing of having that pop up for a joke... Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy oh. by the way his precise price is in Russian rubles converts into 645 price for a liter of <laughs> that's really funny okay so <laughs> I have vodka uh, Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> okay. We're off. Oh. Am I <laughs> am I gonna give Wizard the vodka? <laughs> it's not a it's a drink and it's not so oh my god, it totally is what I'm doing, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda. Sure, why not? <laughs> Oh! Wow! That's got more kick than the other <laughs> one. Thanks, Zappa Max. You guys... You guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? Oh, no! What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the <laughs> stupidest thing he'd ever heard. <laughs> well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. <laughs> well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. <gasps> you little... You big... <gasps> of course you realize. This means war! <gasps> war! <gasps> war!
flashing light above the door there's just one thing it could be Well, let's not do that again. Of all the things I expected this episode to have, I I I would have had um a a dance number about war being very bottom of the list. That was awesome! <laughs> Let's get in there. <laughs> it's the Dakota situation. Oh my god. In the White House garden pond. It's Jimmy Two Teeth. Hey! You're allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now? What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the <laughs> aged and the my drink Sam. wasn't actually He's alcohol. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. <laughs> hey, the DeSoto! Where are we going, Sam? Oh. No place. Never mind. Oh, it's like just a fast travel thing. That's kind of nice. The civil war in the Dakotas seems to be escalating, Max. Jesus but Christ! Thin out the overpopulation of moose and strip malls for a few weeks, and then we'll step in. <laughs> it looks like Bismarck has fallen to the West Dakotan militia. Oh no! That will wipe out the country's crucial snow and slush reserves. <laughs> your compassion for your people is heartwarming, Mr. President. <laughs> Cookies. It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. <gasps> coffee! Hey, there's gourmet coffee. In case the idea of war makes you insufficiently jittery. I'm plenty juice just being in here. Let's blow stuff up. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, war, war, war. War manual? What to do in time of war. Select target. Press fire. That's all it says. Why is the book so fucking huge? Wait, is that like actually there's that the oh dear. Oh no. Whee! Looks like a remote homing beacon in the frigid Antarctic. So peaceful, so serene. Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? 
<gasps> no. The homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. <laughs> lazy former commie bastards, Max. <laughs> it's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. <laughs> They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absolute parents. <laughs> they must be exterminated. All right. Well, this will teach him to put me in the phantom zone. You will bow down before me. Uh, better pull up a chair, little buddy. Oh no. Well, do you know? Boss <laughs> The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. But oh wait! He's glad when we tell him. <laughs> He's got some missile defense thing. Sense, Max. You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> wait! 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 Attention, Bosco shoppers! Clean up in aisle everything. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. <laughs> well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? I can't. I can't. <laughs> Dinner special tonight? Penguin flambe. <laughs> Who would have suspected the Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles? It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for one. <laughs> I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. Absolutely. My ego is bigger already. <laughs> All right, I blew, I blew up Antarctica. <laughs> so now what? The modern system. Please let's for the Joint Chiefs and other quasi-important hoo-hahs. Nice screensaver. <laughs> Oh my god! Alright, um... So... <laughs> the dunce cap. So now what? What what ramifications have I created by blowing up the Arctic? <laughs> <It's fucking laughs> I forgot how fucking funny these games are. Jesus. Um... Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy. Need it. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, now what? <laughs> now, um, I still have this. Why do I still have this? Where are we going, Sam? Uh, do I have anything? Let me see. After that rampaging Lincoln. Boss going. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe? Yeah, because I don't got anything on me. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, office. That's... Though, where is the tracker at, actually? That's a really good idea. Uh... It's, uh, it's inside. What the fuck? Where is it at? Let me see. Is it the... Camera? Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental oh, ballistic missiles. Oh my Bosco god. Store. What was that? Uh, he said that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Oh my god. Wait. I want to see. <laughs> Hold on. No, wait. Oh, wait, there's no tracker there. I was going to be like, let's blow up Bosco's, but I just rushed and took away the tracker. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Oh my God! Rampaging Lincoln. Yes. All right, so slap the shit on him. <laughs> We're gonna blow his ass up. Uh, bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Nice toss, Max. We'd better act fast before he manages to knock off the beacon. Or choose his own back off to escape. Where are we going, Sam? The White House. We're off. Oh boy! Quickly! 
We're going to blow up. We're going to use Washington to blow up Lincoln. This game is crazy. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> this kid's fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the oval crib. Yeah. Alright. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. <laughs> This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum. Yeah, there's two more episodes. You'll have enslaved all of DC well, and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. Jesus Christ. Catch, you're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? <laughs> we don't want to miss this. <laughs> My bidding, I am the most powerful presidential monument ever created! Yeah! Whee! That was better than feeding laxatives to pigeons on parade days! <laughs> you did two presidents in one afternoon. <laughs> oh my god! Well, it looks like the country is saved, <laughs> at least for massive illness. <laughs> What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down at the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles report. Query status. What? Lincoln Gambit, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 Oh? Yeah! Greatest president ever! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! That was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that war dance number killed me. Let's do episode four. I I I I, pro I will not have the time, unfortunately. Uh, cause at the rate that I do this, I do do two episodes, and I think it's a good amount of time. Um, but my <laughs> fucking god. That's episode four. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I did the the mob, the mole, and the meatball. Yeah, that was three. Oh derp. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so I guess uh I guess next week will be the finale for this. <laughs> this game is so fucking funny. My god. <laughs> uh, I'm going to drink my last little you knew it was going to happen. <laughs> I, I'm sure when it comes to like things you already know about, um, uh, seeing people's reactions is probably so great. It, it's <laughs> it's probably fucking awesome. All right, let me just get this get get in there, stupid fucking. All right, so that is culture shock complete. <laughs> you can't get the, yeah, the phone call is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, episode two, situation comedy also complete. That was last week. And today we got episode three, the mole, the mob, and the meatball. And <laughs> episode four, Abe Lincoln must die. So next week, next week we got reality 2.0. Oh my God, what the fuck? And Bright Side of the Moon. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. So what, what are the little synopsis? Let me see. With an internet crisis looming and a viral video game holding its players hostage, Sam and Max will need to slip into a new reality to set things right. But can the freelance police crack this virtual case in time to avoid worldwide system failure? Holy shit. And what is six? 
What started out as a local mind control scheme has grown to global proportions. And Sam and Max are off to the moon to save the entire planet from a lifetime of hypnotic enslavement. <laughs> but when chaos collides with tranquility, have the freelance police finally met their match? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's fucking VR chat, yeah. People are hopelessly addicted to that shit. All right. So yeah, that's a good stopping point for this for today. So it's going to be a little bit early for Derpy Doodles, but nonetheless, we will Derpy all over our doodles. So let's get the music. Let's get some, let's get some drum and bass, actually. Yeah, there we go. There we fucking go. All right. So let me just get over here and then boop, there we go. All right. So. It is that time, chat. It is time for Derpy Deal of Time. The part of stream where with your channel redeems, I do a heck of a draw. And y'all are more than welcome to draw alongside me if you redeem the redeem, obviously. So let me just see. How many am I doing tonight? It is two. We have two redeems. All right. So let me just get these open. And who all does I need for tonight? Let's see. Uh, I'm going to need Icy, Clappy, and Azri. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and get those real quick. Azri, Clappy, Icy. This is the tense of the series. Yeah, because there are three seasons. Let me see if they ever actually did do season three. Uh, season three, Sam and Max, Gunkape. Games. Have they ever have they, have they gotten that? Uh says now in development coming 2023. Well, I'll be damned, it's gonna be out this year, huh? Okay, sick. I can't wait, honestly. So I guess season two is out? It is out. Ah, Beyond Time and Spaces Season 2. It is on my wish list already. All right, all right, cool. So yeah, if things play out right, I might get Season 2. Um, Like, for like the winter sale or something. Steam always has this. I love Steam. It's so great. It's almost over, though. It's still 2023. You know, there's this month. And the next month. And the next month. So, you know, maybe it'll, it'll be coming out sooner than we expect. All right. So I guess look forward to that some point in the future. It more than likely won't be out. I won't be streaming it on release more than likely because I still got season two to do. And then maybe three. And also keep in mind that goddamn November is stacked, actually. Like these next few months are stacked as fuck. Because November... It's got Like a Dragon Gaiden, The Man Who Erases Name, which Herky Dur, Yakuza and Me are for streams are perfect. And then January, fucking January, that's got Like a Dragon, Infinite Well, and the Apollo uh, Justice Trilogy. Y'all, January is going to be a great month for me. I, I am so... <laughs> I am so looking forward to January. Y'all have no fucking idea. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, I get, like, that means I can do Yakuza and Ace Attorney in the same month. Fuck yes. Yes! I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, Azri goes on the second one. Alright. I'm so fucking pumped. And then we got this asshole right here. Get you copied on over. There we go. Uh, first one only? Yeah, first one only. All right, let me just get this shrunk down. Put you right there. There we go. And then I see on the both of these. Yep, I see on the both of these. Would you look at that? These are both kind of fun prompts. I can't wait to 
see what I come up with. I'm sure it'll be completely fine and not totally batshit insane. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They're gonna be super batshit insane. <laughs> let's let's be real. Let's be let's let's be really real. It's gonna be <laughs> crazy as hell. All right. So they are all set. All right, so for the first one, uh, first prompt we have is, I see saying the most British thing to Clappy. Who's confused? All right, let me just look up British like slang real quick. British slang. Is there like a good list? Let's see. Okay, this can work. This can actually super work. I wish there was a better list though, hold on. Like a better... Okay. Uh, I can make this work. Okay. I am so sorry to all the people from the UK here, especially you, Raven. This is, this is gonna be, this is gonna be, um, knackered, if you will. <laughs> you see what I did? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Rave is gonna, like, disown watching me after this one doodle prompt. <laughs> Here we go. Three... Two, one, go. Buggered? No. Isn't it knackered? K N A C K E R E D? Isn't that. Isn't that it? I swear I've heard knackers use it. Right? It means tired. Ah, shit. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm trying. I always thought it meant like messed up. All right, well, so let's see here. Let's get your, let's get your head like right here. These will not be full bodies, but I will. You know what? I'm gonna give you a tie, Icy. I, I I don't know why, but I have the need to give you a nice fancy tie. Gonna be a fancy Gracian, yes. Gonna be so fancy. Look at that good friend right here. Uh, okay, so we got like, got like this, this, just have like this going on, and like this. I have no idea how to draw shirts and stuff, so I don't know why I'm going for this, but that's okay, because after all, it's our derpy doodles. It's completely intentional that they're not great. But that's fine. That is fine. Because everyone... And, any, and anyone can do this. Anyone can, you know. And, that, and that's something I like to prove with Derpy Duel. That just because, you know... There's extremely talented people out there that can do stuff like for commissions and stuff. That does not mean that, you know... Uh, that no one can draw whatsoever. Hell, I don't do these for commissions. These are just from channel points, you know? So, fucking, yeah, go draw. Like, doesn't need to be great. Doesn't need to be fantastic. Doesn't need to be the, you know, the fucking Mona Lisa, you know? Just, just draw. You know, just pick up a free program like paint.net, like what I'm using here right now. Uh, use a mouse. Hell, I use a mouse for all these. I've always used a mouse for these. So fucking, you know, just just pick up something and just draw whatever, you know? Whether it be five minutes or ten minutes like I do, just, just, just go for it, you know? Don't let, uh, don't let other people stop you. And like, even if you may not like how like the how you draw things to begin with, that's okay. No one starts off like liking what they draw. Like hell, if y'all saw, if y'all have seen some of my first doodles, 
y'all would probably be like, oh my god, you're so much better than what how you're what you're doing like or yeah, that's so much better. Like what you're doing now is so much better. And I'd be like, yeah, I know, because I've done over a thousand of these. That's not even a joke. I've legit done over a thousand of these. So yeah, like <laughs> just just draw. Let's go for it, you know? So get this free program. Paint.net. You got your mouse. Everyone's got a mouse. Uh okay, so how how am I gonna do this? Uh derpy expression. My, my go-to, my beloved. Yeah. Yeah. We, we we like our derpy expressions around here. So we got blip blop. That is a very derpy icy. We like to see it. We love to see it. Mm I don't know how the hell this turned into me just inspirationally talking about just drawing. Well, my point stands. Just, just fucking go for it. Do it, you know? And I'll draw an open mouth here. And because open mouth, that's right, we got some teefies. I, I know there's a way I could approach this, but for the sake of not having people be angry at me, I'm going to hold my hand and not. <laughs> I, I I don't want I don't I don't, don't want to I don't want to make people mad as I'm sure it's super would. I won't lie that the thought did cross my mind, but I'm not going there. We have our teefies, yay! Uh, okay, let's give you your little, your, your little hair here. Like, I will be 100% honest with y'all. The thought did cross my mind to take the, the, the teeth in that direction, but I will be not doing so because I don't want to make anyone mad. <laughs> so I'm going to hold my hand and not do that. <laughs> Uh, let me get rid of all this over here. There we go. And yeah, we got our flowers. Uh, okay, so you drew me like with the what face. So I'm going to assume you meant for that to be in the thing itself as well, so... I'm going to have to eyeball it. Also drawing it, me looking this way as well. Okay. Let's have... We go like that. You did, in fact. Okay. I just assume people normally do, because technically speaking, that is part of the prompt, so, you know. Uh, although, I guess you, you've been around here long enough, Icy. You, you know that I do that shit. You know, you know that I do that. I don't know what I'm doing, just like these sorts of. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You know what, I see? It's been nice to have you ever, ever since that first day. Decided to you know, just come and hang out here. Honestly, same with you as well, Raven. Like, I, I know we've already had this discussion, but you've been around here for so fucking long. And like I mentioned, like near the beginning, the fact that like you're you're from the UK, but still managed to make it like always around here. That's what boggles my mind, cause my time is so shit for people in the UK. So, like, honestly, I'm a little bit flattered, and, I, and I'm glad that you do enjoy what I do so much that it just keep on coming back for more. Uh, thank you. Glad you enjoy so much. Whoop, there we go. Uh, all right, let's do the, let's see. Uh, I can't draw my fucking hair. I don't know how to do this shit. Uh, okay. So I guess like this. And just sort of like... Like this, I guess? Uh, sure, I'll go with that. There we go. Yeah, so then I'll just 
get rid of this. With the magic of layers, I'll just select all of that and there we go. I still have to get the text in there. <laughs> the, the, the main part about this prompt that I haven't done it yet. Mainly because I'm a little bit unsure on how to approach it. Although I guess tossing in a bunch of slang would probably work. Well, I think it does mention like it has to be confused. So I guess like my usage of, you know, knackered would still fit. Cause I'd be like, huh? What does that mean? Undead kisser. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like <laughs> the, the next time that like, uh, either a payout or the, the top of the month, like rolls around, I'm, I'm going to get one of those two. I'm, I'm going to get one of those as well, because I, I was thinking about getting one of those at some point. And you know what? I, I think <laughs> I, I, I think it I think it'd probably be really funny to have. It's a little button eyes. And it's just a little bit down like this. I still fucking love how the expression on this one. It's so fantastic. <laughs> you like kissing cabbage, don't you? <laughs> I, can't draw, I can't draw this while I'm laughing. Oh shit, there we go. There we go, that's better. I can I can draw. Man, what a concept. Don't laugh and I'm able to draw. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna get the text in. I'm not gonna cheap out on this one. All right. So now I must come up with good text that would work for this. Uh, okay, let's go comic stance just to, for maximum memeage. Uh, okay, let me just get my font set to a good size. That's too big. I'll work with that. All right, now spend the next five minutes doing this. Oh, shit, wait. Uh, there we go. Let's go on down and down some get uh uh absolutely pissed which according to this article by tandem or blog get uh pissed is just a slang word for being drunk huh uh let's see uh Correct, yes. Okay, yeah, because I'm literally just looking off this fucking blog. So this some <laughs> some of these could be incorrect. Uh let's see. Change piss to sloshed? Alright, you got it. I, I will take the advice of an actual UK in within our midst. That's a weird word, UK in. It's a weird word, because it's not real. <laughs> Uh, destroy the, where the hell was it? I, okay, yeah, there we go. We can pick up some birds as well to top off the night. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, hopefully no chavs, that's nah, not going to fit, or it will be there to ruin our fun. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Else we'll have to tell them. You 
<laughs> Those uh, chavs. Always such a prats. Yeah, there we go. Um, if we're lucky, ma shit. Uh, m maybe the bar will have the uh fuck it. Uh, wait, let me do it like this. Bangers and Nosh special on the uh, the the menu so we can have some grub with our drinks. Jesus Christ, this is so fucked. <laughs> Um, <laughs> de depending on how you swing, though, maybe instead of a bird, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll crack on uh bev instead raven i am so sorry if you are cringing from this <laughs> either <laughs> either you're cringing or you are dying or you are having the best time of your life right now <laughs> if you get turned down uh don't be too gutted I'll be there to uh, help you and no, my gut's already there. Shit. Uh, don't be. Oh, wait, hold on. Too gutted. Don't be. Proper gutted. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, wait. If you get. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Better idea. Hold on. Get turned down. What was the. Yeah. Pied off, there you go. Pied off apparently means to be rejected or shot down. I like pie. Don't be proper gutted. There we go, okay, cool. I, t Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. We'll continue cracking on with our night. And truly enjoy, and truly enjoy ourselves. Okay, I, I think that's enough. Otherwise, Raymond's gonna stab me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, all right, let me just get rid of all these little parts that the text ain't supposed to be on. Then I'll put them like behind. And if I do that, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so Raven, on a scale of one to 10, how accurately uh, British is this? And I'm sorry to any people, just changed bar to spoons and it's perfect. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, wait, hold on. I can probably actually do that. Give me a second, hold on. Spoons, spoons, okay. So let's see if I can like just fit it like right there. 
Y y congratulations, Raven. You're my UK advisor or something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, shit. Can I move all this over to make it work? Hold on. Uh, probably not. Crap. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it like that. There we go. It's flawless. <laughs> but this is too low. And hey, Azura, health check, you got it. I will take you up on that. Oh! Oh, I wish I could hear these pops that happen from time to time. Oh my god. And now I shall hydrate with my, my, my Kool Aid. Hmm. And thank you for the pet. Wait for a little bit, of course. Let me just... Okay, I think that looks all right. Uh, you've arrived to the most shitposty British derpy doodle that's probably ever going to exist. Let's be frank. <laughs> Don't know if it's America, but there's a bar called Weatherspoon. It's called Spoons. Huh. I have a limited amount of those every day. <laughs> uh, I feel like we do have a place called that here. I don't really go to bars or whatever. Uh, so I wouldn't know. Maybe someone else from the States can chime in and confirm or deny? Because I honestly don't know. <laughs> All right. Seems on par for these streams. Hell yeah. And you know what? Raven's not gonna stab me, so I I, I think we can confirm that this is okay. <laughs> Uh, Clappy... What? There you go. You don't go to them either because it's always the cheapest stuff. That makes sense. That makes sense. That means it's shit, in it? I forgot to put in it in there! Hold on! Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll leave it like that. Fuck it. Okay, I'll, 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 leave, I'll leave it like that. No, 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 no. I, I, I can't, I can't keep adding shit to this. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. So for the final one tonight, we have a very simple, but very fun, President Day Icy and VP Azri. Now, I know it's supposed to be Vice President. I know that's what it's supposed to be. However, <laughs> Because I'm feeling in a really goofy mood tonight. <laughs> this is gonna get fun. <laughs> Here we go. Ten. <laughs> I just love the. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, go. We're gonna start with the desk. Because that's gonna be like a half body of icy. Uh, okay, so let's start with the desk. Put it about... Put it about, like, right here. Uh, I'll just use the fucking tool I got. There we go. Alright, uh, let's have... President Day. Right about... I'm feeling... Feeling something like this. There we go. Okay, I just rust a problem with my initial idea. How the fuck am I gonna draw like the fingers like entwined with each other, but Icy just has the mitten hands. Cause he can't really do that. I guess, uh, just having one cover the other, I guess? 
Oh, right. The poison. Hmm. Poison for Cusco. The poison chosen Let's specially see. to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Bad poison. Yes, that poison. Yes, that poison. <laughs> I was trying to draw yes, but my, my brain shut down. <laughs> uh... All right, so let's do this. Uh, I guess just like this. Would you be Kronk? Uh, I, I would definitely always be Kronk. A, a hundred percent. Like I am like, um, I, 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 I think probably most of us can agree here that I'd, I'd make a pretty great cronk, right? All right, the poison, the poison for Cusco. The so <laughs> Wait, hold on. Ah, the sub, the sub for Clappy, the sub specifically chosen for Clappy, Clappy sub. That sub? Yes, that sub. <laughs> Just like a super Venly failed way to be like, hey, subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, what if I fucking did that for like a a new <laughs> like a New Year's thing? <laughs> and just like make all my little sound um alerts like just me saying shit as Kronk. Oh, that'd be funny. Oh, I should probably do that. Ooh, that'd be fun. All right, let's get the, the suit. All right, yeah, there we go. Guess it'd be something like this. There we go. Please do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> like hell, people want me to do it like for their sound alerts and shit. Like if you also stream fucking DM me on Discord. <laughs> I'll fucking do it for you as well. I love doing Kronk's voice. It's really fantastic, you know. You got like that uh, sort of droning on this about it, but it's kind of deep voice, but you like to listen to it. You know how it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. It's all coming together. All right, we got a tie there. I do not know how to do suits. I'm sorry. Su suits are really fucking hard for me to do. I'll just do it like that. Screw it. All right, so once again, we got a <laughs> floppy ears. Love our floppy ears around here. Yes. The second <laughs> floppy ears. There we go. <laughs> And I'll just give like a neutral happy expression to President Day I see. There we go. There's something like this. They're in project close because he hates suits. I hate drawing them, but I hate wearing them. God, they're fucking uncomfortable. Look like this little V smile, like on the ref over here. Alright. <laughs> This is where shit's gonna get kind of silly. Let me just move that to like right there. All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's start with this. There we go. Uh, wait. Let me do it on a different layer. There we go. You know what? I'll, I'll just move ice all the way over here. Let's do that instead. There we go. Now there's more room. Uh, all right, let's see. About there. And there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, God, Claffy, what are you doing, my dude? <laughs> Technically speaking, this is the prompt. <laughs> this is the prompt still. It's still the prompt. <laughs> Te technically.
exactly it is. Uh, there we go. More like that. There we go. And, uh, oh, let me try it more like this. And, and there we go. And I'll go ahead and add the bottom part right here so that it looks deep. There we go. Ah, why? I didn't do anything wrong. Or anything remotely horny. What the fuck you on about? Uh, okay. Um, how am I get? Okay, so now I gotta get like the Azri characteristics. Hmm. Let's see. What can I do for this? Um, I guess we'll put the hair like right here. Let's try the. Wait, hold on. I'm drawing this completely wrong. A little bit more over... There we go. And bring that back up like that. It, it's basically going to be the same pretty much sort of thing on the ref, but... I'll try to be a little bit different with it. Kind of like that. Over you know, like this. Okay. What's that? What can I do you for? Uh, there we go. Then the hair. It's pretty. Pretty smooth on the way up. All right. It's like that. Too silly? Around here? There's no such thing as too silly. We love our sillies around here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the wrong layer. Some of these lines a little bit smaller. Then right there. Okay, I need to get a little bit extra on that one. I don't know how to do hair. Hair is really fucking hard for me to do. Don't say silly. Yeah, that's me. I said silly. I'm the silly one. I'm the one who makes you la- I, I can't clap right now. Oh, fuck shit, bitch, damn cocksucker. Back clap. Pussy asshole cunt. Back clap. Motherfucking dirty Back whore. clap. Shout on to my lungs. Back clap. Piss cunt, damn bitch, suck my Back dick. Back clap. Jesus, Herald cries. Clap. Shit, clap. Bitch, cocksucker, goddamn Back clap. Pussy asshole cunt. Back clap. There you go. Even better, perfect. Y'all deserve nothing less but the best, all right? So, <laughs> uh, let me try to get like this little this little bird friend right here on there. Uh, although very simplified, because I, I I cannot draw that to save my life. So let's have her head about like right here. We got her beaky. Uh, okay, let's see. So that the uh, comes out like that. Okay. So then comes out like that. And then it's like a almost a pyramid shape for the tail. So like this. Wait, hold on. Like this, that, that, and ah, fuck you. I'm going to get this symbol done at least. I like this idea way too much to just let it go to waste. Uh, bring it up a little bit. And then we got the, the wing. Got that line going on there. There we go. Okay, so it like comes down like this. It's like a sort of like its own little V. Let me just get rid of all this right here. So it comes down like that. Then V. Yeah, it's kind of like straight up angle. So like this. There we go. Look at that. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's actually not too bad. Yo, that's actually, that's actually not bad. I like how that came out, actually. Real talk, that looks good. Holy crap, that's actually pretty good. Let's get the little feet there now. 
I actually like how this bird turned out. What the fuck? For, man, for a really silly derpy duel, this one turned out actually pretty great. I like the little feats right there. Man. All right, so here is, as the prompt said, word, letter for letter, President Icy and VP Azri. I know you meant Vice President, but the prompt did state VP Azri, so I'm going to take this joke and run with it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I gotta save it first. Dirt. Naughty, naughty cabbage. Go to my room. Oh, come on! It's a joke. President Icy VP Azri. Eee. <laughs> Eee. 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 All right, do that the server it goes. Someone upload something? No one joined tonight though. Hello? Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll still look at him, Okami. I'll, I'll still look at him. All right, so let's see what your British Oisy confusing Clappy B. Let's have a look, see. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty adorable. All right, uh, let me get my 20 seconds. Make sure I got my purple bush. There we go, that'll work. Right, let's see what we got here. All right, first off, Icy looks really good in this outfit. It's like a little teacher outfit. <laughs> the little birds, because I'm like confused and shit. <laughs> I <laughs> Icy is working with me through the fantastically titled Brit Lit. <laughs> Alright, it, it might be a little bit hard to top Brit Lid. That shit's great. I love that. <laughs> and Icy looks so good, like dressed up like a teacher. My goodness. What an awesome. I, I like how you draw suits. I love how you draw them. Alright, so what's President Icy and VP uh, Azri look like? Probably not like in the letters VP. Well, let's see. Oh, oh <laughs> the Bird Icy shirt. Let's see. All right, and go. Let's see. They brainwashed? Brainwash? Not brain something. I like the Vote Icy shirt. That That's fantastic. Pro, pro trans bill, hell yeah. Trans rights are human rights, absolutely. Zombies, wait. Just mindless poli politicians, Never mind. Brain white? Oh, I see. Okay, brain wiped. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add a little extra to this. Hold on. Uh, g g give me a second. Hold on. I'll add a little, 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 little extra to this. Hold on. Let me. Uh, okay, so if I do, is it like 180 to, there we go, yay, okay. So let me grab this, and this will probably work. All right, so I'll just add this, this is more for funds. Let's see if I can add this. Cause we love our trans people around here. Whether you're out or whether you're still like, you know, holding it in, just know that you always have a place around here. All right. You are more than welcome in our community. Hell, everyone's welcome in this little community. My little part of the internet, absolutely. You know, just as long as you're like, not like a dickhead to other people, but 
being trans, that doesn't make you fall into that. Nah. Just trying to be comfortable with yourself. You know what? I respect that. Absolutely. fucking So I'm gonna add like a fun little trans flag to this part of the bill here if I can fucking draw right. Uh, I know it's a little bit wobbly and I apologize. Uh, there we go. It's probably not big enough. Shit. And I swear to God, if any of you say that's what she says, you're getting banned. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Cause I know some of y'all are thinking it. <laughs> that fucking emote that <laughs> I could just I could just hear Icy just going <laughs> Just like I'm gonna say it, Clap dude, you can't stop me. Yeah <laughs> I can't Oh shit, hold on. Uh straighter there we go. That's what he's, that's what he, that. All right, you know what? Those are fair rebuttals. Cause you know what? I did say only if he said that's what she said. And you know what? That's technically that, that works. So you know what? I'll give y'all that. I will give you that. You know what? You have outsmarted my threat and I will happily concede. Cause that is what I said. That is specifically what I said. So you know what? Well played. Well played. All right, I know it's not. A, I know it's not a perfect. Um, let me see if I can make like this look a little bit better. It's looking a little bit funky. Hold on. I know this is like way over what I do for derpy duels, but this is worth it. Uh, so if I do that, there we go. Let's do that again. Uh, and. Like that. All right. Like you know what? I'll I'll, I'll concede. Y'all 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 did find a loophole, and y'all acted on it perfectly. So you know what? Fucking props. Y'all y'all can y'all successfully outmaneuver the cabin. I mean, although let's let's be real, that's not that hard to do. <laughs> Let's, let's let's be super real. <laughs> there you go. Yay! I know it's not a perfect trans flag, but I, I definitely uh, did my best for this. Once again, trans rights are human rights. I'm so fucking lit. If you're trans, you are more than welcome around here. Am I hopefully a little comfy part of the net? Yay! Uh, I mean, it, obviously this one's going to be the favorite. I like the message with it. I, I do love how, um, also I do like your outfit over here. It's very nice. I dig it. I really do. Got a great message. Fuck yeah. All right, everyone. With that, that is the end of stream tonight. Y'all, it was a lot of fun. And again. Two episodes of Sam and Max done. Fuck and yes. Let me go ahead and refund that point to Rokami. There we go. I almost said Raven, but I caught myself. Except for me talking just now. But that's besides the point. Because I'm done. Whee! All right. If y'all want to keep up with me, whenever I'm up, up to my normal shenanigans here, there's the Discord and the Twitter. But at some point, that will be Blue Sky instead. Because, uh... Oh boy, t Twitter is, uh, it is having a time of all time. My God, I see my friend steady yourself. Damn it. <laughs> Let me get the other shit first. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, fuck. <laughs> For the Discord Twitter, I do post one whenever, whenever I go live, as well as the game list, every single week at noon central time. Like, hey, Sunday, it's some more fucking Tiny Tina's Wonderlands with Sky Tex. 
It should really be nice to see y'all tomorrow for that, because it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. And uh always a really funny time. So I would hope to see I would hope to see y'all there for that. I'm sure as sure as excited. I row wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> and that link y'all see in chat that has a feedback form for the stream let me know what you like about the stream let me know what you dislike about the stream Joel, <laughs> just, just, Joel thoughts, comments, concerns criticisms, etc, etc because I want to make sure y'all are as comfortable as y'all can be around here because y'all fucking deserve that I really really do and if I'm able to provide that for y'all then I'm doing it right I'm doing it right. But if there's something that I can improve, uh, let me know. And, and, I'll, and I'll definitely see what I can do to accommodate and make y'all even more satisfied. All right, now, now here's the, the fucking raid tag to copy. They either put slash me in front of or add your own emotes or replace the gear or whatever, I'm not your dad. Uh, let's see. Who's live? Who is live? Who is live that I would like to send the love to? Who is live that I want to send the love to? Who is live? that I want to send the love to. Calfira, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, what is this? Brainstorm and trigger fire commands with chat. Ooh, okay. Yeah, why not? All right, so Calfire is doing some just chatting. Very, very kick-ass person. Uh, they, she's talking about trigger fire commands with chat. So, you know, if you maybe want to send some thoughts her way, I think this would be a perfect time to do so. All right, get that right tag copied. I'm going to go fuck off for the night. Have a lovely rest of your night, everyone. Today was so much fun. Um, take care. Have a lovely rest of your night. Bye-bye!